Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the stream. Hope everyone's been having a good day so far. Uh, I have been having a relatively good day. I, uh, I took the day off of doing VODs since I have a couple scheduled, so I have had all day to do whatever I please with. Still working on that bedtime. Everything went pretty much according to plan. I slept in a little bit more this morning, but just a little. Long story short, now that the weather is warming up, it uh, it wreaks havoc on the front of my window at night and makes sleeping past a certain point kind of hell, so. It'll get better, I'm sure. We've been talking about buying blo uh, blackout curtains for years and we still haven't done it, so, you know. It's kind of our fault at this point. We'll probably finally decide to do it once we're moving out. Ah, thank you, thank you. It is nice to take breaks every once in a while, I admit. But, uh, the good news is that uh, we have, with uh, Sol and Zagi's help, we have managed to actually get uh, Star Wars The Old Republic running. And uh, there was a lot of difficulty and a lot of uh, difficulty getting the UI to scale properly to the point where I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. But I wanted to take some time and mess with some of the settings because the mouse look was uh, driving me to distraction by whipping around everywhere. So once I get that sorted out and I feel like I'm ready to actually stream this thing, I will probably do that some point in the near future. It's been interesting to see my old characters again. A lot of them are like, oh yeah, I remember that character, they're super cool, and then other characters are like, who are you? I sort of remember your appearance, but I do not remember what I was attempting to do with you, so... Good luck. It's funny how things have changed since 2011. But since I was not ready to do that for everybody tonight, I think it is time that we go take care of some unfinished business in Honkai Star Rail. Because I have now, um, I got extremely lucky with Robin late last night slash early this morning. And she is yet another character that requires, I forget what they call it, the borehole planet disaster or something or other. It's the item you get from the fourth echo of war, which I can clearly see listed in the list of things I can do, but I do not have access to it. Because I have to go do the Trailblaze Continuance mission to see the rest of the story in the Herta Space Station first. Yeah, I know, right? 20 pulls in, it's so crazy. And all of those were free, by the way. I put no money into that for this one. I'm not saying I don't, but I did not today. That said, I did put some money into trying to get the uh, light cone and have gotten screwed, so... You know, it's not like it never goes uh, the wrong end of in my favor, ever. So yeah, I think it's time for some story. I do not know how long these Trailblaze continuances are. I have heard that the Herta Space Station one is longer than the other. So we will have to see. I'm hopeful we can get through that and maybe look at some of the others or look at something else tonight, but we will have to see. For now, let us go ahead and hop into the game. Are you still doing the thing? Please hold. Gloves. Really, why? M. Slobs. Why are you not loading in the window? This is a new problem. Normally this just works. Why? Did I forget a step? Oh no. No, Slobs is not admin. I hate this extra step. Fuck. Okay. Well, I guess I have to stop the entire stream for that then, because Slobs is obviously running my stream. Sorry, folks. This is on me. I really should have thought about that. I just don't remember with this game. Goddess Adrilla. Shut up, Argenti. You respond to my pleas again. You are not helping this matter. All right, I will let you guys know in chat once things are not fucked and we can continue. 
please bear with me. I'll go ahead and put the BRB up so folks are clear when I'm back. I shall uphold the principles I of night. Shut up. Um, sorry about that, folks. I have gone ahead and uh, used all my snoozes on that, so we at least won't have to deal with it for another 15 minutes. That's not fair to ask everybody to put up with two ads that close to back to back. Okay, let me move out of the way. Okay, I think we're good now. Everything's loaded. We can all see our genti. It is, I will defend all beauty. I do have the voices back on and the music back on because we're at story time, so I do apologize for his screaming about beauty all the time. I do have a new addition to my usual team. I'm going to try running without a tank right now. We'll see if I can survive it. Black Swan is not quite uh, fully kitted out compared to my other characters, but I'm working on it. I did a bunch of farming today, so... Hopefully in the next couple of days she'll be ready. The thing is I can't fully build her traces until I go unlock this thing because let me just show you. <laughs> Echoes of War, here we go. This is the problem. I have access to these three because I've been through these three areas. This is the problem. Orhole Planet's old crater. Unfortunately, we have to go do the Trailblaze Continuance mission in the Herta Space Station to go do this. So. The good news is that these bits of the story are not necessarily like intended to be done in any order. This was originally the devs going, you know, we have some extra time in the plot before we release the next planet. Let's let people go back to the original planet they started on for some extra story for a bit. And they put a boss in it. So I have been kind of forging ahead, being like, OK, well, once I get done with Penacony, I'll probably be ready to go back and like see the other planets again and be excited to be there and all that jazz. But it's taking me long enough to get through Penacony, of course, because I started late. That that trajectory has kind of bit me in the ass because I now can't get the materials I need to build the characters I want. So we are going to have to just stop everything and go do this. Let's go. I'm afraid we're starting a little bit in media res because I did the first couple of steps of this already off stream, I think. It should be more or less easy to follow, though. As much as anything is in this game, if you haven't been there from or since day one. We are looking for Ron May. 
There's someone next to the railway platform. And could she be... Mm, probably. I have a feeling we're on the right track. I'm gonna check the data when I get back. <clears throat> I didn't startle you. Uh, that's a little bit personal, ma'am. Do I know you? I definitely don't know you. I know your name. Somebody's lost, I think. I mean, not that it's not unwelcome, but maybe we better take up a st uh, take a step or two back. <clears throat> This is a work habit of mine. Using touch to open my senses and letting the details of your biological existence flood into my brain helps me understand your construction as a living organism. Oh, hell no. There are hentai plots with this thread. No, 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 no. I can't stream this. <clears throat> Such is the basis of deconstruction and reconstruction. Do not be concerned. You are very healthy. In fact, impeccably so. A perfect experimental specimen. I like perfect experimental specimens. You know it. I mean, I'm a cat boy. What did you expect? Oh, you meant him. Never mind. <laughs> uh, do I play this cool or not? Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry. Okay. Hang on. No, left. There we go. Thank you for the reminder. I gotta be slightly awkward here. Oh, really? Oh, pretend it is. I expect the views here had me lost in thought. See, she is lost. We're fine. I don't usually go in and out of the space station and only discovered today that it was blessed with such calm, open views. It is a wonderful fit for the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossoms, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. Okay, I gotta admit, this is, uh, Ron Bay is one of the characters that I've been trying to build, but I... I had a very different interpretation of this character, I think, in my head before right now, so this is eye-opening. Come here. Look. The blue planet is directly below us. It is so full of life. This dessert is very delicious. Here, take half. Okay. <laughs> I can refuse. You know, I'd expect Herda to be testing something on me, but let's not forget that Ron May is one of the people responsible for creating the simulated universe. She's in there with Herda and Skrullum and what's his face, Stephen. It's fine. For science. Delicious desserts remind people of how flowers look when they bloom. Ingest this dessert one bite at a time, and the sweetness will linger in your mouth. I hope you like it too. <laughs> you ate Ron May's snack. So, what do you think? I can certainly prepare more for you. It's become somewhat of a tradition to bring strawberry pastries when I visit Stephen Lloyd. His attendance seems quite dependent on them. Damn. Smart man. But what did you give me? I need descriptions. Let's go. Hmm. An outstanding dessert. Ten grams of cubed sugar. One dried and salt preserved plum blossom. 
Baking and cooking are the same as nurturing a universe. The heat must be controlled, planning must be meticulous, and one must not panic. No matter what happens. No, 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 no. See, I beg to differ. Baking, absolutely. Baking is a science. Cooking is an art. There are some parts of cooking that can be boiled down to, like, explicit science, because if you do it even slightly wrong, you're going to end up with your kitchen on fire. But there are a lot of things you can do with spices and flavors that do not require that level of precision. Just going to put that out there. Ask me which one I am. Unfortunately, there are still too many people in the space station. The clamor is not fitting for desserts. By the way... Do you remember what my research is about? Desserts? There was something about nurturing life forms, yeah. No. My research area is short stories about toilets. <laughs> what? It did not say anything about that being my response. Excuse me. Okay, I'm really glad I took the awkward answer now. <laughs> this conversation is about to get awkward no matter what I do. Oh my god, that's amazing. Can I- wait. I'm playing this through Steam, I should be able to screenshot this, I think. This is amazing. Did it work? I'm not hearing the sound effect. Well, let's hope I got it. I'm not playing through Steam? Oh. Oh well. Fuck. I thought I was. At least I thought I was using the uh, launcher through Steam. Oh well. I'll come back and get that scene for the thumbnail. What's going on? What, what am I talking about? Wait, even you don't know? I was gonna say, I don't think we've written short stories about toilets. We've seen the toilet on this space station. I mean, the magical teleporter. I see. What a cute hobby. <laughs> okay, she took it with a straight face. That's not good either. Harda, what are you doing to me? But remember, the next time something like this happens, it's crucial to mask your expression until you've ascertained the situation. If not... Eh? What did you give me? Okay, I'm sorry, but I cannot snooze that, so we're just gonna have to live with it. You'll be full of weaknesses that others can see through. Let's try again. Now, what else would you like to ask? I have so many questions now, you would not believe. <laughs> yeah, all of these were good starts. <laughs> uh... What did you do to me? The dessert was tasty. I would like more. <laughs> did she put like truth serum in my f stuff? What the hell? I'm just way too frank right now. Also, this voice actor is killing it. <sighs> Why can't I say what I want to say? You have quite the appetite. All right, I'll give you the recipe. Uh, can you please rephrase that, ma'am? Come and have a walk with me. A stroll is the most appropriate post-dessert activity. As the masses depart, there's an enveloping calm here. Just like in the no man's land I've entered to in the past. Can you imagine a completely lifeless world? From there, you can glimpse the stars that lie at the very edge of the horizon. Following its celestial trajectory, the Great Teal Star illuminates an endless sea of white across both the sky and land. 
My mother and I navigated calm glaciers, looking for signs of life on that world, and encountered many bizarre phenomena. It was like finding the single correct piece in a mountain of jigsaw pieces. The process was convoluted and unimaginably difficult, but it was touching and enthralling as well. My apologies. It appears my words have left you perplexed. Please, don't be on edge. I bear no ill will. I haven't interfered with your linguistic faculties. Such an act would be impolite. I merely made a minor adjustment. Minor adjustment? What the hell is she even talking about? Does consent mean nothing to you or Herda? A few days ago, I made my interest in you known to Herta. My intention is for you to serve as an assistant. Based on our interactions within the simulated universe, I firmly believe you fit the bill. Right. So she told you I was a giant wuss and couldn't say no. Okay. I find extending trust beyond myself is challenging. A single error in detailed research can generate issues and... I despise matters that escape my control. <laughs> Therefore, I added anti-truth serum to this dessert. Fuck, you did. It will not harm you. However, you will be unable to say what you truly think when answering questions related to me. Okay, I was kind of kidding, but I'm glad I'm not completely off base here. Not able to say what I truly think when answering questions related to her specifically. That's a weird restriction. So if I say anything to her, I should say the opposite of what I'm trying to say. If I want to make this work. Assuming it works that way. Treat it as a layer of protection. This will shield my research and your personal safety. Once the problems have been dealt with, I'll give you the antidote. Problems? You just drugged me into helping you, woman. I can also reward you as compensation for being my assistant. I will fulfill your every wish. Uh, what is... I... I'm really torn between one and three here. I'm sure she probably doesn't trust me, but that's the least of my concerns right now. Uh, okay. What problems? I'm, I'm, I am still upset, but... Yes. Problems wrought by my own hand. When I first arrived on the space station, I borrowed the face flame from Herta. It's an invention of member number 29, Circle. I hope to be enlightened by other society members' results. Okay, what, dare I ask, is the phase flame? A surge of creativity led me to explore the cultivation of life on the space station. Man. The only thing my surges of creativity caused me to do is write half-finished stories. I clearly need to get on this. In my imagination, these life forms would be a new variety that are born as geniuses. I plan to name them after Lambda, member number eight of the Genius Society. <laughs> I have not tried to write one about toilets yet, but maybe I should. I don't know where it went wrong. They possess their own sentience, but are nowhere near geniuses. I mean, genius is in the eye of the beholder, let's be frank. Moreover, my free-range approach seems to have backfired. In a lab leak incident a few days ago, some of these little life forms ran away and scattered all over the space station. Uh, that sounds bad. I do not wish for Herta or Asta to be involved in this. Therefore... I'm hoping you can assist in recovering these little life forms. And if I say no? It's a little late for you can trust me now. 
We have already surpassed that issue. Why don't this you want them to do, to do that? With them. Besides, the more people involved, the more problems there will be. Hey. I don't really want to say this, but for the sake of the uh, making sure we do all the chat topics, I will do it. I do trust you. Because you drugged me. Ask a stupid question. The researchers are still treating these entities as visitors. I want to steer clear of making my presence known so as not to cause undue disturbances. I entrust this to you. Once the little life forms are collected, simply find a proper place for them. The researchers in the Department of Ecology should know about this and provide you with suitable advice. Okay, why do they know about them? Oh god, okay. Please excuse me, I need to open this drink. I think I should have brought something a little bit stronger. Hmm. Also, this is infinitely funny doing this quest with Kafka as my main character right now. Thinking of other control freaks in this game. Okay. Get information from the researchers. Sure, let's let's do that. Excuse me. As the masses depart, there's an enveloping calm here. Just like the no man's land I ventured to in the past. Uh, if I'm supposed to know what she's talking about, I do not remember. Yes. My mother and I once spent 11 long polar nights there. Okay. Well, I guess let's go to the master control zone and talk to some researchers. I don't know where I expected this to go, but it certainly wasn't here. Is that a stain? I like this coat. Eh? Oh. What? A place where the space station stores dangerous experimental results? Uh, if you don't know, why should I? Why would anyone want to know that? Wait, did someone send you here to try to get things out of me? Probably. Oh no, am I still under the effects of truth serum? This could go extremely poorly. I'm not doing any private business on the space station. I have absolutely no knowledge of any special hiding places. And I certainly haven't sold any old junk rare treasures or discarded curios or anything like that. Uh, that is a highly specific denial, sir. A host of them, in fact. Okay, I probably should say this, but I didn't even ask. <laughs> I'm not hiding anything at all. You're the sneaky one. What do you want? Mm hmm. <laughs> I won't talk to you if you don't tell me why you're here. <laughs> okay, well, you can go back to sulking. Fine. I'll solve the space station's problems. Oh my god. What? Is this a normal side effect of truth serum? Is this just like short circuiting my body? Has she tested this on anyone with a Stellaron in them before? I feel absolutely certain that the answer is no. So. I really can't say anything about her. Oh, that. You've got pretty good contacts if you know that already. The space station is a mess. Everyone's already swamped as it is. And now out of nowhere, there's a bunch of little creatures popping up. Oh, Wobbaboo, are they? If you want to solve the problem, go check out the storage zone. Then you'll understand. 
Comfort zone. Okay. This is fine. Welcome to Hertha Space Station. Uh, this way. It's been long enough since I've been in here that I'm starting to get lost again. Sword zone. Oh, it's the daily. About toilets, I note. Very timely. There are so many people. This seems to be the place. I'm sorry, wait. Check out the disturbance. Optional, try to create life? Excuse me? Uh, this is all so sudden. I, I didn't realize we had um, reached that stage of our relationship. Also, optional, ask around for information about Ron Bay. Uh, this, uh, uh, she was kind of touchy-feely there. I wonder if I'm supposed to be asking in here or if this counts as checking out the disturbance. I'm gonna try to ask elsewhere before I get too deep in. Yeah. Yeah. Rise! <laughs> World cleansing dragon! <laughs> okay, that was embarrassing. The human body is beautiful in its fragility. Uh, no, no, they probably don't, but they were ugly and they were in my way, so, you know. <gasps> Damn it. Don Hong. Thank you. Break. <laughs> you think I might be slightly OP? The consequences are mine to bear. These were the uh, most newbie enemies in the game, after all. So, even at max equilibrium level, I guess they're not that tough. Safe zone, okay. You can't get anything done if you get scared so easily. Have you figured out how to express yourself? What's going on? Oh, right, this. This was an old side quest I did. That's not what we need. What? Okay, listen. That sappy spiel I taught you last time work at all. You can't say any of those things I taught you. And you feel that vibration. Every time I see you, my heart starts pounding like crazy. Isn't that totally romantic? Aren't you impressed? Hearing it makes me not want to make any move at all. I think that was from something else I also did, so we don't that's not gonna help us. That definitely will not help us create life. The details tell me about capability. Word count tells me about attitude. <laughs> okay, I gotta remember that line. You can't get anything done if you get scared so easily. Um, uh, try to create life. I feel like this should be really obvious. I mean, I, I know how babies are. Never mind.
This music is definitely not helping, by the way. Okay, there's Adler. He's here for the daily quest. of use over here. As a hard eye, we already collected all those. <laughs> well, clearly you and she were on the same page. Um, like, seriously, where would I go if I wanted to create life on the space station? Hospital, I suppose. The master control zone is beautiful and everything, but probably not that comfy. I can need a lab or something. Oh, right, I still haven't done the thing where I collect all the, uh, like, little mini robots that, uh, I, all my options are just to turn it off or leave it alone. I'm starting to think maybe I have to turn it off, but I never did that just because it seemed stupid to me to turn it off. I have no reason to turn it off. This was the very important meeting room. If any of you are relatively new to this game, definitely check out this room sometime. There are some side quests in here that are intensely funny. in here. I'm gonna be mad if it turns out that these are all in the same room and I'm just wasting my time wandering around. Hey, free money. Price! World cleansing dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys are actually beefy. Okay. I will protect all beauty. Uh, stand still. Time to say bye. Boom. Quick. Flesh wound. This is what happens when I don't have a tank. I will protect all beauty. What I fully expect is going to happen is I'm going to blunder into the Echo of War fight at the end of this and not be prepared at all and just get slaughtered and we'll have to go do it again, but... A bunch of enemies in here. I don't really want to have to wander around fighting everything. I just really hesitate to miss out on anything optional with that title, you know? Like, it's obviously not going to be X-rated, but I want to know what the joke is. This whole room, but I can't imagine there's anything to do in here.
I did rather expect this room to be more important than it turned out to be, though. That's what the quest text says. Around for information. The base zone. I feel like there's usually some people wandering around out here. <laughs> and Leonard. I'm pretty sure he just wants to talk about the uh, Silver Wolf character mission, which we're not ready to do yet. All the character missions are for a different stream. Anyone like to talk about Ron May? Abraham? You want to talk about Ron May? You. You don't come over here. Nope. No questions. Abraham is uh, still not well, for those of you that remember him. He's alive, but he is not what I would call well. Welcome to Space Station. Need help go to the galaxy room in the base zone. <laughs> Nothing going on in here. <sighs> Taking life in Asta's private quarters <laughs> is probably not the wisest decision. All beauty! Break! World cleansing dragon! <laughs> Wretched and fleeting! Let me try ours. The consequences are mine to bear. <laughs> I think that's what these rooms are for. When, Mingdi, how would you create life if you were trying to create life? One must make sure that the curios are safe. Nope. <laughs> Very good advice. Wait, no, the other thing. This should just be a mirror to the other room. Yep. What's this? Gird your curios. That seems reasonable. Here's Aherda. Okay, it's just a puppet. Imagining running through the hallways, bellowing about, you know, how do I make life? And just everyone staring at me. I really wish I had Somnaloon in the party right now, just because he's being so uh, amazingly stupid that I kind of want him to be front and center for this, but it is what it is.
Hospital. Maybe the hospital is safe. Hello? This looks fine. Nope. We already did that. Mr. Joanne doesn't want to deal with us. <laughs> Will your medical examination turn up whatever the hell she put in me? Um, does not seem right either. Okay. So not base zone. I think we pretty clearly confirmed that. I guess let's try the master control zone next. All remains as it did yesterday. If nothing else, maybe we can ask Peppy. Because Humans only care about their own safety. But what about other species? This selfishness must change. Just want to know what she fed me. If you can't answer that, then I'm leaving. Bernard, I'm not asking you for shit. If you are an outsider, you should leave. Do not interfere with our work. Nothing here. I'm sorry to think maybe I should just go investigate that spot. I hate to run the risk of missing something important, but I'm not finding anything outside the dust or er, the destination area. All right, Peppy, shake, sit. <laughs> Sorry, I should be reading this. I just realized part of it's behind my shoulder. It doesn't pay your commands any attention. It just looks at you in silence with a puzzling expression drawing up one side of its mouth. You check again and again to see if your eyes are deceiving you. Its smile is a mix of sarcasm, indifference, disdain, and dysfunctional jaw muscles. <laughs> that has always been the exp uh, explanation for what Peppy looks like, and nothing has changed. If only I got paid more. So good. Alright. Well, let's go see what happens if we just go to the obvious location. I hope we don't miss out on anything. This is the area that obviously has the special music, so... There are so many people. And this seems to be the place. Okay. Investigate. Search for the Department of Insight. Molten cheese tart is the best. Its outlook is infectious. Its positive mood has influenced us all. Okay, this one just caught my attention immediately when I walked into it. The others were asking me to like talk to them. What's our slogan again? One, stop complaining. 
change your attitude, and use the delicious molten cheese tart to stop the flow of negative energy. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Two, energize yourself, increase your capacity for action, and walk on the path of a molten cheese tart's absolute conviction. You better be careful, you're gonna turn it into an Aeon. Ah, oh, Creed, molten cheese tart is the best. Who is molten cheese tart? Oh, praise be! You don't know? Molten Cheese Tart is Madame Ron May's top fan! This is how it preaches. Those who offer their love are expressing admiration and affection for Miss Ron May! Uh, okay. Let's ask about Squirrelum's followers, because you know he has many, of which we are one. Oh, let me tell you something. Mr. Scrooge's followers are all very logical, but they're just awaiting the arrival of the mechanical aristocracy. I'm better mechanical than human at this point. <clears throat> Since you're so interested, I'll tell you how to secure an audience with the honorable molten cheese tart. You'll need to work hard to get there. Oh my god. That's supposed to be the same voice actor responsible for Master Gong Shu. You need to plaster hearts wherever Madame Ron May has been. If you're sincere enough, the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart will show itself. <laughs> I. Okay. Perform a mysterious summoning ritual. Also, still try to create life and ask around. Okay, it's giving us options. This is, this is alright. Use the function button to make graffiti. Oh, the hearts. Okay. It's gonna work like that uh, character mission friends. for uh, Silver Wolf. Yet, yet again. I watched Soggy do that, so I know how it works more or less, even if I haven't done it myself yet. Hi. Wrong May. Member 81 of the Genius Society, a resounding name in science and the veritable epitome of life form cultivation. Researchers here have heard so much about her for so long. But once she arrived on the space station, she just took over everything. And what did Madame Herta do? Absolutely nothing. That tracks. Yes, she's treating this place like her backyard. She's leaving her research notes all over the floor. The end result? Everyone's obsessed with getting their hands on them. I mean, clearly she doesn't care. Hey, guess what I got my hands on? Word on the street is that this is the downgraded version of Ron May's life cultivation formula. Oh no. We might have found it, lads. It says 10 carats of ingenuity, one ton of practice, 30 particles of Starquake, and a few drops of poisonous liquor for Madame Yu Ting Tu. Rumor has it that it once created a talking chair. Not a particularly intelligent one, but boy, did it have a sharp tongue. They dismantled it and used it for firewood. Can you believe it? Uh, this is fine. This is definitely fine. This is not what I signed up for. I was here to learn how to create life. Teach me now. Let's give it a shot, shall we? First things first, we need to pick up the ingredients. Oh boy. Okay. Let's think about this real hard. Do you want a constantly burning passion, a confidence that came out of nowhere, or the courage to drink two bottles of Capo Cali in one go? Personally, I'm liking the constantly burning passion. I'm a fan of passionate people, whatever your passion may drive you. Hmm. 
We need to add some other good stuff in. Yeah, but don't go overboard. IQ, EQ, or beauty? Oh, wasn't that the question? Beauty is typically temporary, unless it's inner. Between IQ and EQ... IQ is really fucking important, but... EQ is what makes you a decent human being. It doesn't how matter how smart you are if you're a giant asshole. I'm gonna have to go EQ on this one. Mm. And now we mix them together. <laughs> Wait! It says on the recipe, Ron May makes different expressions when nurturing life. <laughs> I am not old enough for this. Uh, okay. Rame frowns. The corner of Rame's mouth twitches. Rame suppressing her emotions or is expressionless? Okay. Hmm. I wonder what expression she makes when nurturing life. Uh, I think the corner of her mouth twitches. Yikes. <laughs> Take a look at what you just cultivated. <laughs> Oh god. Okay. This is gonna be fine. You have nurtured a copy of a five nut milk flavored life form. I don't know what I expected, but it was not that in any capacity. And is also definitely not helping this ridiculous metaphor. Cat <laughs> pervert. I, I didn't even cause this one. I couldn't have known. Uh, anyway. Great. Milk almond life form. I... What? What do I do with it? Can I? What sound is that? Woof? It's a milk almond life form that woofs but looks like a cow. I think every brain cell in my head just exited. Can I take a picture of it? No, this is strictly about spraying graffiti. Okay. I'm just here to switch graffiti types. Oh, because it I'm on uh Silverwolf's thing. Okay. Paint as many likes as you can wherever Ron May happens to go. Oh god. Okay. Only eight graffiti can exist simultaneously. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. Blech. What? Is she just busy making sentient food? Is that what's going on here? Can you explain I things to me? I heard Madame Ronmei is very picky when it comes to snacks. Uh, do you know what her favorites are? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what she told us. I don't know about her, but I love fermented herring. <laughs> oh, no. Why do I have to be drugged through all of this? So, I really can't say anything about her. Did I ask about your favorites? <laughs> also, that's disgusting. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <clears throat> Not me putting in poll about airheads on Discord for the lols and finding out that I'm apparently the only person that likes them. <clears throat> it's fun.
Investigate. Investigate what? Oh, it's the rot. That's not part of this. I did get responses. Um, so this... Is the little life form Ron they made? What the fuck? Are those leftover peppy noises? I am humbled to meet the molten cheese tart. <gasps> oh my god. What are you frozen in place for? Oh, you don't understand the honorable tart. That's okay. No worries for situations like this. We've specifically concocted a synesthesia beacon. Oh boy. I mean, I'm already in deep enough. Why not? Let's go. Wakaka! I'm a genius. A genius among geniuses! Never mind, I didn't need to understand it. I can go. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, nope. <laughs> That was way too risky. Uh-huh. What is purring? Oh, Molten Cheese Tot says, Madam Ronme has finally recognized my ingenuity. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Please stop doing that. Molten Cheese Tot says, does Madame Ron May recognize me as a masterpiece? I'm sorry, I think they just got everybody on the Heard of Space Station drunk as fuck and then recorded this session. <coughs> Molten Cheese Tot says, Madame Ron May still has not recognized me as a life form that passes the requirements. I need to work harder. Oh, such an enthusiastic molten cheese tart. Sorry, I keep trying to um, pass the Turing test, Mr. Molten Cheese Tart, sir. Or ma'am, or I don't know, I'm not asking it. There's a kind of attachment reserved for the creator. To the world, you are but one person. But to me, you are the entire world. Oh, Madam Ron May. Uh... Hey, you! Yes, you! Don't you have anything you want to say to Molten Cheese Tart? You should at least express how you would like to follow Molten Cheese Tart. We wouldn't want to mistake you for an agent of gray bean paste, would we? <laughs> <laughs> gray bean paste? I'm sorry, what? Oh boy, I can fan the flames here if I want. I mean, it does purr. I feel a certain kinship to it. It's just batshit every other way. I've never met Grey Bean Paste, I don't know. I probably can't even say this because it's going to bounce terribly when I do. Which is why we're going to do it. You heartless dessert. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot. I can't say anything about Ron May. <clears throat> you Shh. quiet. OK, it was worth it just to hear him voice act that line. Oh, the honorable molten cheese tart may have a crispy exterior. But deep down inside, it's incredibly sensitive and delicate. This food wars. This is definitely food wars. It's working so hard just to get Madame Ron May's attention. You see, the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart has always been fighting against gray bean paste in terms of flavor. The Honorable Molten Cheese Tart is a firm believer that people's lives need to be optimistic. 
Yeah, but nothing but optimism just teaches you to not really respect when things need to be serious. It doesn't teach you how to appreciate optimism. Anyway. They both hope to receive Madame Ron May's recognition and have been working so hard. <laughs> okay, I can't. I, can't. I, I don't even want to know, man. I do not want to know. How did Ron May make desserts into life forms? Seems like the safe answer here. A safe question here. You need to call it the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart. Over my dead body. Mm, it's genuinely puzzling. Despite Molten Cheese Tart's remarkable qualities, why hasn't Madame Ron May acknowledged it? It's clear that it yearns for her love. Speaking of questions I never wanted to ask. Love from the creator to her creation? Familiar love? Doesn't sound right. Romantic love? Definitely not. It's sure sounding a hell of a lot like him all of a sudden, yeah. Yeah. Which means all the people that are hot for uh, Takumi and Fire Emblem Fates? Ripperoni, folks. Now all I want is to hear this audio taped over all of his bullshit in Fire Emblem Fates. Someone make it happen, please. I don't know. Expecting me to understand love is like asking me to map the farthest reaches of the universe. Remember, as long as love is your compass, you're on the right track. And in the wise words of the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart, love must be shouted from the rooftops. Can I talk alone with the Molten Cheese Tart? That, that depends if the Honorable Tart agrees to it. Well, yes, consent is important. Oh, the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart has agreed. You try to communicate with Ron May's creation and get it away. Oh, please tell me this thing is not sending me text messages. You can throw those little monsters in here. Are you serious or I think you're lying? Uh, are you serious? Why don't I believe you? Okay, accommodate Ron May's creation. Also, there's still apparently information we can get somewhere. Oh, I expected absolutely none of this when I sat down tonight. Ron May likes to listen to the space station radio during her research. Some of us younger researchers are her super fans. We're always scanning different frequencies to find out what her tastes are. Do you know her favorite tunes by any chance? Uh, I do not know, so both of these are complete ass pulls. Opera. She seems like the opera type. No idea. I just listen to comedy skits. <laughs> <laughs> right, we can't answer this anyway. So, I really can't say anything about her. As expected. You look like you belong at a comedy skit yourself. Adam, you wound me. You know how much this jacket probably cost? Tech jackets ain't cheap. Okay, that was it. Now we just go accommodate Ron May's creation, which might actually be the worst thing here.
You know, I read Ranbei is like character story because I've been leveling her and like her actual backstory seems kind of like horrifying and tragic. She seems like a very serious character, which is why all of this is very much not what I expected to find here. Excuse me. I will protect all beauty. Goodbye. The consequences are mine to bear. Okay. Oh no. I mean, that is what he showed us. I'm just going to start shoving stuff down the um, teleporter. It's definitely a teleporter. It's not a toilet. Stop asking questions you want the don't want the answers to. Uh, this is fine. He realized Ron May's creation cannot be put in at all. Right. Fantastic. Uh, at least they're not goldfish, they're just molten cheese tarts. It opens its innocent eyes wide. You now have to explain to it that this has to be done in order to send it back to Ron May's side. Oh god. Uh. Confess! Why are you stirring up trouble on the space station? Okay, apparently that triggered my keyboard. Sorry. It seems to believe that only by being passionate can it earn Ron May's approval. It seems resentful for being an unqualified life form. It seems eager to achieve great things. It wants to fully embrace its own philosophy and is inviting you to join in. You have to be firm, believing this is the best place for it. Oh god. <laughs> I'm literally sending it to a farm upstate. Um, tenderly activate the teleporter or callously activate the teleporter? I... It is technically a life form at the end of the day. It's just a really batshit one. If there was something in between these, I would take it, but... Uh, sure, we'll be kind about this, I guess. Ronmei's little life form is ruthlessly flushed down the john. It will be safely transported to storage zone. Hey, I tried, okay? Uh, hi. Uh, okay. What do you qualify as an emergency, ma'am? Can I take a shortcut? No. <laughs> it's just gonna sit here and remind me of what I did. It's fine. It's definitely fine. Hey, Master Control Zone! Oh wow, we're going all the way back into Herta's office for real. Okay. I may have killed your thingy. I'm sorry. They told me I really had to create life, but... You're here. Herta called Skrulem and I to the space station to discuss some important topics. She also sent an invite to Steven, but he didn't reply and Herta didn't seem to want to wait any longer. That has been the most stable thing I have heard from any of you since I first got here. And now, I wish for you to attend this meeting with me. 
I don't want her to, to worry herself over these frivolous matters, even though she probably wouldn't care anyway. Just in case, I want someone who will be on my side. In other words, you. Right, someone you've drugged into not being able to say anything bad or good about you at all. Okay. Help me. It'll be easy. Just remember, my secret stays with you. Don't pry too much and keep your expressions in check. Uh, sure. All right, let's go. Oh my god, they're actually using the meeting room for a meeting. This game is absolutely cracked. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Ronme! I've been waiting for you. Oh, you're here too? Looks like you two have become quite friendly. Hey, yeah, thrilled. It's uh, good to see you, sir. Affirmation. This reunion has happened earlier than my calculations predicted. Rolum, save me. I'd much rather have you any day. Can we make life somewhere else? Though you weren't invited, I welcome you to remember this historical moment. How long has it been since three geniuses were in the same room together? And how long will we have to wait for it to happen again? Deferred to a mission I haven't done yet. Eh, that makes sense. Given that these don't have to be completed in any order, it makes sense for there to be a little uh, temporal bullshit going on. Affirmative. Discounting our discussions on the simulated universe, our interactions are scarce. I look forward to the innovative ideas that may emerge from this juxtaposition of minds. <laughs> okay, she did tell me to keep my uh, expressions in check. Let's try not to at least offend Skrillum. I don't care what I do to hurt her. <laughs> Let me get straight to the point. I think it's time to find another partner for the simulated universe. Oh, okay. You wish to kick Steven out? No, of course not. Steven doesn't want to get involved and voted to abstain. Oh, whatever. Look. I respect the way people want to live, but he doesn't have a chance to be involved in this decision-making anymore. Reasonable if he opted out. Question. Are we introducing a fifth partner for the simulated universe? Yes, a fifth genius. Hey, that sounds cool. More testing and all that. The reason for our gathering is clear to everyone present. What else could prompt such a gathering of brilliant minds except for the answer? No one can refuse the secret of the eons. Not even Xandar will definitely get a response. Okay. I feel like we've heard Xandar mentioned, but only like very, very briefly in passing, and only then if you like looked at the right objects around the space station. Unless that's also part of a character mission. What if the responder is Polka Kakamond? That'd be great! Hey, Lord of Silence, are you listening? I'm member number 83, Herda, and I want to meet you. I believe you and I will have a lot to talk about. It's unlikely we'll hear from Polka Kakamond. She's been off the grid for quite some time. Hey. Probability, member number 64, Dr. Primitive, may appear. Is there anything like Dr. Ratio? That's a hard pass. Given Dr. Primitive's shady research practices and his tussle with the Galaxy Rangers, the IPC will surely turn this into a media circus. He can get lost. I'd prefer it if the simulated universe remained scandal-free. There's enough drama in there. We don't need more. What about you, Chingtu? Are you still in touch with her, Ronmei? Is she still alive? Can we ask him to leave if we are to discuss this topic? 
The process will be long and boring. There's no need to take up other people's time. Uh-oh. Am I going to get in trouble if I am in the room to hear about this? Is that what you're trying to say? Of course! You brought him in after all. It's up to you. All right. Let me walk you out. And... what the heck is this? Uh... Good question? I thought I was getting walked out. Seems like a programming error. Oh, this fragment of Ron May. Have you seen it in the simulated universe before? Oh shit, have I? I swear I had seen something about Ron May before, but I don't remember if I saw it in the simulated universe or not. I do not remember. That's not an answer. A secret lab? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. In which case, I have seen it. Yeah. Okay. The simulated universe is my home. <laughs> I mean, not wrong. Seeing as we just did an entire stream for that. I love Simu. Uh, I don't know, but I just did. <sighs> I'm speaking nonsense again. <laughs> It'll be fine, I'm sure. It's probably an isolated glitch. <sighs> fine. I'm used to turning a blind eye to these things. It makes life easier. I am curious, though. Are you going to keep it, Rame? Mm. I probably will. Records indicate he likes this occurrence. I mean, hell, as long as it's not something worse like Nihility. All right, I agree. As long as it helps you with your research, you can do whatever you want. Sorry, Nildus. I meant Nildus. Which is basically the same thing. Come along. I'll see you out. What if I refuse? Arda. What's wrong? You're not leaving. Depends on who they are. Okay. Ask a stupid question. Oh, wait, what? Interesting. I was only allowed to ask that one question. Shit. Okay. Maybe I should ask about Polka Kakamond after all. The air in the space station has a pleasant quality. Affirmation. Knowledge flows within it. Uh, okay, tell me about Dr. Primitive. I won't make the same mistake again. Dr. Primitive's true identity is not known to me. His previous transgressions against humanity lead some to conclude he may be an inorganic entity. Affirmation. All beings, organic or otherwise, should value peace. I mean, unless you're destruction. Okay, I'll shut myself out. It appears I was overthinking things. Impulsive behavior is pretty characteristic of her, after all. Thankfully, it was just a minor scare. Still, meetings give me such a headache. It seems I'll have to stay put for a while. I see that you've recovered the life form in the master control zone. Thank you. Well done. Uh, you're welcome. We're not going to talk about this? No, you misunderstand. While Herta is tied up in meetings, you might find it more convenient to roam the space station. There are some things that I must tell you now. If I wait for the meeting to finish, then it might be too late. Okay. The retrieval of my life forms isn't complete yet. No. There's more than just one, and some are stored in a sealed zone. Sealed zone? Herta uses that place to welcome visitors from across the stars, or to welcome members of the Genius Society. However, due to the Legion's invasion, 
It is no longer open to the public. And now my headache is stored there. Weird, my headaches are usually stored in my head, but... There's much you don't know about the space station, and even more about Herta. But there is some information I can give you. That place is also used to welcome non-humanoid visitors, and has a shuttle that connects to outer space. Non-humanoid visitors. I'm giving you my access card. Give me your hand, and I'll input your fingerprint into it. Stay vigilant, Assistant. Should you come across a threat you can't handle, just alert me. I'll come to your aid no matter what. I mean, you kind of have to. You're in my part. I mean, not my current party, but... Remember, there is a giant incubator in the middle of the zone. That's where my headache is stored. This, this is getting inappropriate again, isn't it? Um... Right, incubator in the middle of the zone, that's where your headache is stored. Bend your back. Come find me on the railway platform. Then you'll understand everything. Wait. Okay. I guess the meeting was taking place in the simulated universe. My head. I'm. I have a headache now too. This is. This is cracked. Okay. Take the elevator and go to the secret zone. <laughs> I think I'll just have to. Uh, I'll pass on any cat perverts. All remains as it did yesterday. Towards a cat pervert. Yep, yep. Of course, they use the meeting room in the pocket universe. What else would they use? Oh boy. Okay, this is completely off the rails. It's fine. I didn't need that, but better safe than sorry. What would a sealed zone look like? I don't know. Probably a floor I can't access normally. Seclusion zone. Okay, I was about to make all kinds of jokes about Moons of Madness because that uh, that really was starting to look like a few places from Moons of Madness, but yeah, now this is a horror game apparently. Ooh, this music is good. Okay, let's look around before we commit to anything too crazy. This has gone in so many directions so quickly.
That's not a complaint, I'm just overwhelmed. I typically love stories that do the roller coaster thing really well, but my god, this is like back and forth so fast. Hi. I'm not seeing anything to mess with. I guess let's chase down the robot. You doing okay, little buddy? Buzz. Fried cold rice robot? What? Is this like molten cheese tart? What's up with this unit? It looks different from the one in the master control zone. Buzz, Madam Herta, open zone. Buzz, to welcome alien species, galactic visitors. High risk zone, Buzz, service staff. Inorganic life forms. Buzz. Do you think we should tell it? It probably wasn't meant to say the word buzz. It's fine. Permission status. Madam Ron May. Permissions granted. Madam Herta. Fine. As long as it keeps her happy. Buzz. <laughs> you just finished telling us what this zone is for. Why are you here? Buzz. I am a twin of the rice frying robot. I am the leftover rice frying robot. Buzz. I don't know what I was thinking. Beep, beep, beep. Yes, absolutely. I may have done a side mission that uh, brought Findy back, so just in case anybody thought they were done with Findy, uh, you might not be. Maintain zone operation. Job of inorganic life forms. Buzz. Welcome, Buzz Visitor. How can I help? That's not my name. Classification of the robots, jobs, or map? Okay, I have a map. Fry leftover rice, Buzz. Okay. Fry leftover rice, Buzz. Welcome, Visitor. <laughs> what do you need, Buzz? Okay, I'm sorry. I want to see visitor logs, or where would I find the incubator? Right, so we're supposed to be looking for the incubator. Though I think she was speaking figuratively, and if she was, that's not going to help. My visitor Madam logs. Ron May, Buzz. Alien species, Buzz. That is all. Okay. Hmm. And underground. Fry leftover rice. Buzz. Fry leftover rice. Buzz. Uh, I guess that's all we're gonna get. Okay. Maybe something over here looks like an incubator. <laughs> It's all yours. Uh. You know, if they actually did a broken down area like this, I would be really excited. This looks great.
then and get this first. Give the area below a scan. It is the most terrifying place in the entire seclusion zone, but you are not scared. Nothing can be more fearsome than yourself. Whoa. As you look down, a strong sense of crisis creeps up your spine to the back of your head. You clench your fists in silence. Rumor has it that there are untold secrets hidden in the area below and mysterious monsters have been sighted. The more you think about it, the more you realize that the space station is not as normal as outsiders think. Why is now the first time you're getting this? Okay. Let's go this way first. This looks impassable. This path is temporarily closed. Okay. safe zone. Yeah, let me go down there. Okay. What's this? Do you moons of madness? I'm pretty sure I did a puzzle involving one of those. Tracts of comprehensive something. Alright, I'm gonna try to avoid that until such time as I see if there are any other readables scattered about. Sinker activated. That's gonna be in the next room over. Okay. I think it looks okay. The kindling for the face flame is fascinating. Unfortunately, before the research could be completed, it vanished. I've initiated new attempts. The growth status of the two samples this time is promising. I incorporated personal taste preferences into the concept, but I'm uncertain about the outcome of such an action. Hey. They simultaneously possess two sets of emotional traits. They are at once cute, weak, sentimental, and sensitive. Yet are also fierce, instigating, demanding, and confident. Oh my god, she's creating cat boys. Let's go. Interestingly, they also possess a kind of inclination, a yearning for their creator. It manifests as a natural, inherent emotion. Similar to that of a baby towards its mother. Life towards sustenance or the peculiar bond between humans. Oh, playing this in the lead up to Mother's Day. Impressive. Huh? What's that sound out there? Hey, okay. this is fine. By the way, just warning everybody now, uh, given the um, state between uh, my family and me at this point, I will probably be drunk as fuck on whatever we do on Sunday, so be ready for that. 
I'll probably pick something easy. Okay. It's moving. That's not good. Um, she did create cat boys. What? Look at it. It's so cute. Okay. You know what? She might be okay. This is good. This is the headache wrong they mentioned. It's just a different flavor. Oh. So it's a chocolate cheese tart. <laughs> that boing really makes everything. Oh. It refers to itself as gray bean paste. It's not gray, it's clearly brown. What are you hiding in the dessert? <coughs> boing. It claims to be connected with its shell. <laughs> it looks deeply distressed, crying profusely. <laughs> Activate the synesthesia beacon. <coughs> Don't worry, little kitty tart thing. We'll save you. I'm not one of Rome's recognized works. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, it stole my voice again. Too much negative energy. Don't like negative energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I am finding these lines and I am making these routines. From one cat boy to another. Buddy, everyone feels down once in a while. It's okay. <laughs> Run <laughs> oh, God. It seems deeply remorseful, and there's a glint of resentment in its eyes. As if it yearns for Ron May's acknowledgement. <laughs> Apparently, I reflectively, or reflexively took it off. It's fine. Why? Oh. Why am I a failure? <laughs> Never mind. You gaze at Ron May's creation, which appears to still be waiting sadly for Ron May to come get it. Hints of compassion tugs at your heart. What's that noise? <laughs> uh, follow me. It'll be okay. That was so not convincing, okay? I need to find a place for this little one. That sound seems to be from that locked room. How do I get in? Okay. This is going great. Chest. Hey. Meow. Yeah. It seems to sense your fear and starts humming a song for you. Ah. Uh, thank you, great bean paste. You're so supportive.
Was that Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Anyway... This is a really large room for nothing. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Really expected that to attack me. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, great. I really did not great. think I had my hand on the trigger that fast. Wretched <laughs> and fleet. Uh, stand uh, still. Joke time's over. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Okay. Oh no. The glass panels on the walls, there something's definitely coming out of those. with this area. Ow, oh, I'm gonna need that tank. Rise. Relax. World cleansing I knew it was likely, but time to say bye. Boom. I mean it kinda seems like it, yeah. Maybe this is part of the genius thing, because like we've already established that Herda's problem is like Herda is, like, super useful as long as it's something that catches her attention. The problem with Herda is, like, she loses attention in less than five minutes, so... She spawns a lot of great things and then just kind of leaves them to rot. Or makes them somebody else's problem. Maybe Ron May is this way with, um, living beings? She has the power to create anything she chooses, but she just kind of abandons it. It's like a slightly more fucked up version of Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Which is the second time that's come up in like two weeks. I love the hell out of that show. So good. Great. That's for culinary friends, Stand yes. Still. Exactly that. Beauty is eternal. I will protect all beauty. So far, so good. The consequences are mine to bear. something here in a minute. I don't want people to die down here. <laughs> this is one of those rare times that I might actually benefit from a healer. Who's not hurt? Argenti? Okay. Bailu is still the strongest healer I have, so I guess I'll bring her. Dadung! Teach me some high elder magic. Wow. <laughs> Who did 
did these voice or quote unquote voice lines. A little something for everyone. Please tell me we find out. Okay. Anything back here? I never imagined there'd be so many of them. Oh my god. Strange sounds scary. Like a meeting of the um jellies. This guy oh god. I'm not ready to leave yet. It's not open yet. You are here too? Uh, seems like this is the other end of that one-way path. Okay, give me this chest. Yeah, this is what we're here for. Let's ignore that for a hot second. release with regular updates information about the upcoming sale of Herda's manuscripts is silently displayed on the advertising bot network connection to the space station terminal has been fixed but the repair of the advertising bots audio system is nowhere on the agenda you're starting to miss Herta's voice and you wonder whether she can really manage regular updates for her manuscript Exclusive warning I really want to read that, but I'm making a point of not reading the lore because all of them are five million hours long to read. If I stop to read these, we will be here for the rest of our lives. I'm sure whatever it is, it's no big deal. Oh my, okay. Eighty-five true stings. This will be spicy. It's not weak to Kafka. Okay. What are you the cloud song? Time to say bye. Boom. Say bye. Boom. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> Relax. Of course, she just went. Now I need her to heal very badly. Ouch. Ouch. Maybe I did need a tank. Shields would be everything right now. This is a formidable foe, so... This is meant to be way harder than most fights. Everyone is fucked up. This is not good. Okay. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> oh no, please don't die. I need you. Mind your manners. Time to say bye. Boom. Okay, that was close. Okay, so I probably should have brought a tank to that fight and not a healer, but we got through it.
I live if you would. A little something for everyone. Yeah, I guess it's not, is it? Rip. You can tell how often I use her. friends. Okay. I never imagined there'd be so many of them. Okay. Let's go find out what's going on over here then. Wait, so there's Aha and Asha? That's helpful. I'm now certain that the outcome of this cultivation is... failure. Life can exist in thousands of different forms, which means the form itself has no purpose. I guess that's true, I guess, if you assume that, like, life is only, you know, existence and not more than that. These life forms are very advanced in their own concepts, and can even trigger chain reactions such as synesthesia, but that is not what I desire. I'm starting to feel lost. Perhaps the question, what is the essence of life? Never had an answer. Number one, Vandar. Have you ever felt this loss? Or resigned? Okay, so yeah, she's busy making these little, um, derpy things, but there's clearly more going on here. Uh, sit tight, little guys. Are you telling me to keep going? Wait, are you trying to achieve immortality? Wouldn't this get you killed on Sanjo? Ever since I was a child, I have always delighted in observing aspects of microscopic creatures, such as the speed with which slime molds devour objects. I have also gazed far and wide across the macroscopic world, investigating the progress of the universe up to this day. It was all very simple. I wish to discover the true essence of life, something that all individuals possess unknowingly, whether it is the materialism of their existence or an unknown entity beyond corporeal realms. Hey. Okay. To avoid blind faith in science, I cautiously raised a query. 
would Ram May be able to peel away external influences? Just like pinpointing a coordinate, would she be able to uncover life's most primordial and beautiful form of existence? I'm not even sure what you're looking for exists, lady. I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach, and that is... <laughs> that is meow. Meow. Uh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Damn, those are close. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss! Rise! Relax. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. Okay, definitely slower without the fourth DPS, but definitely a lot safer. Mine to bear. <laughs> this. I don't know. Oh, I see. It's just a shortcut back to this room. Okay. I never imagined there'd be so many of them. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's still locked somehow. Whoa. Uh, that's actually kind of gorgeous. What happens if we ignore it? Any fun down here? <laughs> oh, wow. I really assumed it was going to not let me go out here yet. Fine. Let's go the right way then. You're a talking test tube now? Okay. Duration of sunlight exposure is a crucial factor affecting mood. Basking in starlight has been proven to be an effective method to alleviate negative emotions. Sounds fitting. Accommodate gray bean paste. What a choice. Phrases I never thought I would have to utter or push the accept button on in my life. Stay here for a bit. <laughs> I guess they're all just hanging out in here now. Aha, Did there's the something door. just open. Okay. Yeah, looks like a great cake display. Everything's all cozy. I hope they don't care about pesky little things like oxygen. It'll be fine. Not all life benefits from oxygen. What's this way then? It's locked off. Okay. Eh. Department of Ecology is something. Okay, this is why I heard a chest. 
Yeah, it looks like we'll probably be back up here. Unless this is another shortcut? No. Okay. Oh no, it's you again. Hidden room. Buzz. Only Madame Ron May has permissions. Please submit your ID. Buzz. Uh, okay. I was gonna say, do I even have an ID? Yeah, extremely. I was thinking the same thing. There's a lot of this that took inspiration from similar things. Permissions granted. Buzz. Select from the below services. One, check historical incubation records. Two, inorganic lifeform companionship chat service. Organic lifeform companionship chat service. This is clearly going to go off the rails, but let's go. This function has been damaged. Buzz. What? No. I could have chatted with trash cans in my local area. Fine. I guess I'll swipe left. Is this? Thank you. I'll survive, I'm sure. I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach. Uh, you're starting to scare me, lady. And that is an emanator. Oh, God. Okay. I cannot comprehend what an emanator is. Scholars view them as the executors of the Eon's power. So when did it begin? And at what point did they become closer to the eons than any other life form? Uh, I mean, that's a good question and everything, but nothing about this sounds like it's going to be a good experiment. So this music is great. At first, I tried to create a genius. I failed. That question has no solution yet, and a long journey of discovery still lies ahead. However, erudition isn't the only path in the universe. If we set logic aside, would there be more primitive and pure emanators on other paths? Uh... Of course there would be. Science lady, it's only a hypothesis. Hazy Roth. I was able to see the beginning and end of the swarm disaster through the simulated universe. Obtain data on the Imperator Insectorum and their descendants. Replicate them, nurture them, and create a brand new scientific discipline. It is a logical decision. I will certainly succeed. The entity that I reconstruct will bloom into a life never before seen. You know that conversation we were having about IQ and EQ? I think we just found what happens if you don't have enough EQ for your IQ. That's kind of what I just heard, yeah. Will Herta and Screwlum like this experiment? Most likely not. Therefore, before they realize what I am doing... I love how she's slowly just getting this, like, tinge of deranged madness to her voice. Very well done. I must hurry my work, as well as find a fitting assistant. Assistant. And then dose him with truth serum. Permission granted. Buzz. Great. Fucking fantastic. Select from the below services. One, check visitor records. Two, open incubator entrance. Uh-huh. It's a very nice effect, I gotta say. That took skill. Open the incubator entrance. Let's check the visitor records first. Madame Ron May. Buzz. Alien, Alien species. species. Buzz. Buzz. Man with plaster head. Buzz. 
Okay, that one I didn't see coming. I'm sorry. I don't think Skrillum is made out of plaster. Seems like there's something new. Oh boy. Permission granted, Buzz. We're gonna die. That sound's coming from above. Return upstairs and continue your investigation. I thought they'd hide stuff in here. The nature of emotion. Any other books? No. Okay. Not over here. Is this a fast travel point at all? No. I can't use this. Why are they gonna make me walk back? Oh, I see. No. And now I can go through here. Uh, I get it. Usually when an RPG makes you backtrack that hard, they're gonna do something, so... <laughs> uh. Yeah, I was trying to be a Chad and just go without any healer or tank, but Stand I'm sorry to miss my tank. Time to say bye. The another locked door was interactable. Oh, Boom. okay. I'll go back and check that. The consequences are mine to bear. Not that one. This one. Yeah, investigate. Okay. With the extremely high resolution of the screen, every data label is clear. You start missing the era of low resolution. <laughs> okay, that's good. Since the terminal network of the space station was fixed, more and more researchers have chosen to work from home. The long queues in front of some terminals can no longer be seen. to have to do this, but nothing against Japard, it's just he tends to slow me down, so I was hoping I could get away with not bringing him. Back to my usual traveling companions. Sorry, Black Swan, I am working on you. You're one of the reasons we're here, after all. And Ron May being the other one. Dragon. <laughs> beauty is eternal. I will protect all beauty. I'm yeah, putting out a lot of really good harmony characters lately. This is my biggest problem. Ron May is very good. Sparkle is fuck very good. How dare you? Robin is very good. It's all right. I don't really have to get the drop on them to survive, but it's still annoying. I will protect all beauty. Okay, fine. You got me once. Good for you.
I am surprised I did not get attacked on the elevator. Huh? There's someone in the distance. Who is that? I would hope it's Ron May, but I can't see clearly. Genius move. And how will you counter it? <sighs> Only an idiot would ask such a question. Just move this here. Hmm. Uh. 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 You look distressed. Something the matter? Hmm. If that's the case. You better get thinking. Are you waiting for a sign? Time is ticking. Descend via the elevator. What you seek is there. I had forgotten this guy apparently shows up with a freaking plaster head on it. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just have to figure out who the mystery man is if you don't already know. Everyone should really know at this point, shouldn't they? Uh, who are you? Have you considered whether the answer to your question will be of any relevance to our current predicament? Mm-hmm. I kind of assumed it wouldn't be. If a question is of no help, then don't ask it. Time is clearly precious to the both of us. Have you ever played an RPG, sir? <sighs> Never mind. Allow me to clarify something. I know exactly who you are. And I'm aware you are in Ron May's employ. This was not my intended destination. I just happened to find my way here during my visit and saw what she was up to. Oh, I'm supposed to care about things beyond my current predicament. Uh, uh, hang on a second. I need to redo some reconfiguring myself. My goals are roughly aligned with yours. Since you're here, I won't intercede. But should you fail, I will be forced to prevent some avoidable misfortunes. I'll be forced to prevent some avoidable misfortunes. That's an odd way to phrase that. That's all you need to know. Just two paragraphs. Very effective communication. <clears throat> I can communicate effectively. I can't stand discourtesy, even when it comes from myself. Whoa. You know, that is an attitude we should all cultivate right there. The real Ron May's creation is hidden in the giant incubator below us. Go. Take the elevator and bear witness to this genius masterpiece. Isn't that the name of a light cone? Witness the big trouble. Just like that, he's gone. Okay. Bye, Mr. Plasterhead. Thinking of characters I would love to build, but do not have the materials or the time to invest in right now. bigger holes to fill in my team than that. This is huge. The space 
space station has an area this big? Okay. Um. Wow. This is definitely the biggest place they've put us in terms of scale, I think, ever in this game. Holy shit. Does this take up all of the entire uh, space station? This is definitely going to be the boss. 500%. I <sighs> 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 Oh wow, it's the boss right freaking now. An okay. Of propagation clone? How can that be? Oh. Is that all? <laughs> Do not be afraid. Depart gets hit by a master fucking laser beam. Is that all? Okay, this music is amazing. And it looks like I'll be doing it myself. Because of course I will. It's a boss. Let's just get that the shield name up. Of Landau. Years of cold hardens the will. We shall never fall. I'm not looking ahead for this one, unlike the uh, other one that we faced in Pentaconi. So if we get laid out, we get laid out. <laughs> so that's not what I meant to do. It's fine. <laughs> Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Uh. Wretched, fleeting. You will know justice. The die is cast. Relax. We go the latest. Oh yeah, I did, huh? That was lucky. There is no guarantee of that. On the multiply state, the Swarm King releases the Swarm. What? I did not have time to read that. It's probably fine. Heaven search. That's what I was trying to do last time. <laughs> Celestial dragon. Awaken dormant scales. Delve hidden moon. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> May as well kill them all. Uh... This won't take long. Okay. Flesh This is fine. The beauty is eternal. Nah, not yet. I'm gonna wait for him to have full power. Stand still. I wish not to use the strength. You don't have to yet, because I can't. Oh, grace. This is the one problem with this team. I get starved for SP pretty bad. Ouch. In the name of Landau, years of cold hardens the will. We shall never fall! Also, Japar's a little slow on his ult, which means it's tough for him to keep shields up as well as, say, Slumberloon would. Is that all? Yeah. 
My oath is to a solitary rose. Wretched, fleeting. I'm gonna use this if only to see if I can get rid of some of these bugs. Until I see that light, I will protect all beauty in the universe. Okay. Sometimes it's worth going ahead and using it before it's maxed out in cases like this where you just need to erase stuff. I hope you're prepared. Relax. That breathing sensation. <laughs> the knight's duty is my guiding luck. Building up to let Don Hong do his business here. The times have changed beyond recognition. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Cap is up, I might as well let her do it. Boom. It'll destroy the space station. Shit. Okay, that's not good. Heaven search. <laughs> Cloud bearing dragon. Rise. Oh, Christ. Radiating venom. Ow. The swarm every time it gets attacked. Break its weakness will no dispel the state. Okay. So we really, really, really need to break it, or we're not gonna get anywhere. In the name of Shield, Landau. please. Years of cold. Pardons the will. Thankfully, Cast is very good at fall. that. Argenti isn't bad at it. We have all elements in our favor except for Kafka, so that should be good. I sense a storm. Wish you had full power, but you don't, so. Awaken <sighs> dormant scales. Delve hidden moon. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> okay. I have no points to do anything with. That's normal. This won't take long. Until I see that light once more, yes. I will protect all beauty in the universe. And double Red hit. Driller. That time, the timing worked out to use both. Shield back up because I think the we just burned through all of it. Years of cold hardens the will. We shall never fall. I wish not to use the strength. <laughs> Is that all? I can break this guy. That's gonna help everything. So. My oath is to a solitary rose. Wretched, fleeting. Until I yeah. see that light once more. It helps that he's freaking E4 because he's a beast. I will protect this game desperately wants me to have him at E4. Universe.
This. I don't know anybody that has anything Stand higher still. than like E2, I don't think. Except for freaking Jabbar. Really shit. I really need to break it, but now it's full again. Okay. It's alright. Heaven search. <laughs> Cloud bearing dragon. Right. Might actually die, then we don't have to worry about it. Night's duty is my guiding light. The beauty is eternal. Oh, we killed it. Pay exchange. was unable to sustain its own existence and vanished as if it had never been born. Hmm. The threat is over. Time to get going. Is uh. it over? I... I need to get some answers out of Rome. We only had to fight two phases of it? Excuse me? Is it over? Or am I gonna have to do that again? Uh, that's suspicious as fuck. Hi, what's up? Just thought you could use some victory key, that's all. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. You're welcome. <laughs> ah, well that was spicy. Yeah, wow. Ugh. Oh, I'm stretching. Friends. Yeah, Thank great job. Uh, uh, really wasn't sure I was gonna make that for a second. Mm -hmm. Thank you kindly for the tea. Very well. You think that thing's ass? <sighs> Thankfully. Uh, you would not have made it through without Jepard, though, I think. No, fuck no. I would have been on the floor in the first phase, I think. Definitely once it bowled out that whatever the hell its ult is. Uh okay. Thank you, Donhan. Keep the audience entertained, will you? Okay, so facing that thing in Echo of War is gonna be nasty. Well, not as nasty as uh, Penicone, but you know. Do this, please. Uh, give me a sec. This room is big enough that it wouldn't surprise me if they hid something around the outer edge. No? Okay. Any in progress, please wait. Growth container fragments. Hey. I'm trying to read that shit. Growth container fragments have been cleaned up. Processing. This area has been cleaned. Waiting to execute the next cleaning plan in line. Okay. Uh... Is there a quick way out of here or... All right, we're wanted back in the supply zone. I guess we're done here. Ugh. 
This is still really good. I love all the crazy elevators. so cool. They certainly know how to make an entrance when they want to. Um, wait, can I just... I can just teleport back out. I don't have to walk out. I'm being stupid right now. We're done here. Let's go. Okay, fine, draw May. Hi, I don't know how to tell you this, but I may have beat up the huge, horrifying monstrosity you kept in the basement. Also, you might need to see a psychiatrist or something, because, lady, something's not right here. The meeting of geniuses is over. As for the future of the simulated universe, that conclusion isn't important. What's important is your task. Hey. You look... upset, correct? I regret my actions. There's no defending what I've done. Time and again, my experiments have fallen short, and they've always yielded predictable results. And can we talk about the fact that you drugged me? I made a clone, but it doesn't hold a candle to the emanator. Uh, I guess not. How should I have explained it to you? I'm not good at communicating with others. And that seems evident. Neither am I a lot of the time, but um, not like this. This is not how you substitute for being bad at communicating with others. Restrained by time and place, its code of life could only be considered an incomplete attempt. I managed to replicate the moment it was born. However, it would soon disappear and be reduced to particles. Like every living being, it inevitably faced its demise as it journeyed towards the end. I find no fault in that. No? Okay, so you're not trying to create immortality then? However, even the briefest life should have meaning. I want to know the limits of its capacity. It will indicate how far I've gone in a field completely incomprehensible to me. Hmm. So you want the meaning of life, then? Can I suggest 42? No? <laughs> and it was a minuscule step. Just as I had predicted. <laughs> it almost ate me! I do not have a life outside of research. People always think this price is unimaginable, but it seems rather acceptable to me. You said it. Can't really agree, but it's her life. If this is what gives her life meaning, who am I to argue? I must admit, I'm not fond of scenarios where everything aligns perfectly with my expectations. An experiment should have its unforeseen twists. That's where the joy lies. 
Even the most predictable storylines can have their pleasant surprises. Dude. I have to admit that these little ones born in the process sometimes move me. Nice, I guess. I see a human-like response in them. It is a concept completely opposite to that of divinity. They have emotions. Emotions may be either positive or negative. However, the love rooted in the depths of their heart is eternal and unchanging. Okay, I agree with that. They are still a long way from becoming geniuses, and are therefore unable to discern whether this love is one of friendship, romance, or familial love. Lady, some people can't figure that out. Some geniuses can't figure that out. That being said, can even geniuses tell the difference? I cannot, at least. I do not understand what love is, and cannot respond to their feelings. There we go. Okay, she's just gonna say it. Do you believe my actions were wrong? Not wrong, just lacking, um, humanity. There's no need to tell me your answer. I just felt like asking the question. How should I take care of them? Perhaps leaving them at the space station is the best choice. Do I seem irresponsible? I'm sorry. I am often at a loss as to how to face my own creations. The effects of the anti-truth serum will also wear off. If others mention me to you in the future, you can answer however you like. Or even pretend you never knew me. I was slightly disappointed about that idea. After all, your memory of me will soon dissipate like smoke. Excuse me? What else haven't you told me? Over time, hidden truths tend to surface. Past traumas, which I'd rather leave behind, have made me skeptical about trusting anyone but myself. Oh, hell no. If I do not want a secret revealed, the most foolproof way is to destroy it. The anti-truth serum will make you forget the brief period we spent together. This fucking woman. It won't take effect immediately. It is a slow, intangible process. Like the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossom, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. Wow. Okay. Perhaps you'll remember someone performed selfish experiments on the space station, but you will no longer remember their identity. Perhaps we'll meet again someday, but you won't be able to connect me with the recollection. This is kind of fucked up. I mean, I think that's the point, but... That way, the connection between life forms will be erased. Friendships, secrets, grudges, lies... I will disappear. Yeah, I didn't expect this either. This is... I kind of guessed there was something dark under the uh, bits that I would read in her character bio, but holy shit. This is what you get when you play God, I guess. If you're going to be able to just bring life into the universe as if it's nothing, then... Like, you're also not giving the life time to find its meaning. You're just cutting it off. It will make our lives 
more relaxing. I won't forget you, not because I actually necessarily like you, but because I want to remember you as a cautionary tale. This is horrifying. I mean, I hope you can learn your lessons someday too, but... I believe you. Screwlum will stay on the space station for a while longer. He and Herta still have problems they need to solve. As for me, I'm leaving soon and won't bother with goodbyes. Same with Herta. It's like, honestly, most of these geniuses are fucked up as hell in their own ways. Like, they're brilliant, but... I mean, that's usually the definition of genius as far as society understands it. I'm just glad to see them doing that instead of just painting the geniuses as, like, perfect creations, because too many games and too many IPs do that. This is what makes it interesting, I think. Do you still remember the No Man's Land I mentioned? I'm considering a solo trip back there during my research downtime, just to see how things are. Oh boy. Exactly, exactly. I mean, I don't know. Not to get too personal on things, but I have been in a great many periods in my life without emotions or a lot of human connections, and... I can definitely say that too much relaxation, quote-unquote, is not a good thing. Finding my fire again has been everything to me, so... I can't agree with her logic at all. I miss member number 55 Yu Qingtu sometimes. She used to always make something delicious for me to drink every time we parted ways. Like tea? I hope I won't meet member number 4 Polka Kakamond. That would be quite troublesome. Who knows when the next gathering of geniuses will be? Do you have anything else you want to say to me? <laughs> I don't care if you trust me or not, frankly. I hope you'll come back and visit your creations. I promise I will, Mr. Assistant. If fate allows and you're interested, upon our next meeting, we could journey to No Man's Land and traverse its tranquil glaciers. You know, when I first met you, I was kind of thinking that was supposed to be some kind of cute come on, but now, no thank you. I will find somebody much more suitable to uh, make life with, if it's all the same to you. Though I suppose it wouldn't be no man's land anymore. What a conundrum. <laughs> okay, that works well with either gender, really, but especially if you happen to be a guy. That's actually kind of funny. There goes the, um, violently absentee mother, slash god, goddess, goddess. Herta may do it to ideas and, like, plans and stuff, but Ron May does it to life. But hey, she can hang out on the express now. Old friends. Maybe. Meet Let's hope. Again. So snack life. Oh my god.
Okay, I might have to use that. That's so good. Okay, hang on. Here we go. Officially snack life. Okay. And now... Sex for life, yes. Now I should finally have access to the thing that has been blocking me for way too long. Echo of War, Borehole, Planet's Old Crater, I can talk. Thank you! It's about frickin' time. Oh wow, that almost took us the whole night, too. I've heard that some of the others are much faster, but... This one they seem to have really gone all out on, so I'm not surprised that it took us most of an evening. Uh, okay. Right. Still keep forgetting I have to go do this. It's worth a whole bunch of jade, so there's really no reason not to. I've just been lazy. They added those after I'd already learned how to play the game, so I kind of didn't need them by the time they came out. Well, now the only question remains what we do with our extra time. I could try to start a character mission. We've been doing story stuff, so I feel like sticking with that is probably a good fit for tonight. Otherwise, we can keep throwing ourselves at Sim Universe or, you know, anything else. I've been trying to stick my toes into pure fiction, finally. That shit is hard. It's gonna take some learning and a lot more 80s than I have currently. Yeah, there's not enough time to get too deep into Penacony, though, actually, now that you mention that, I have heard that we might be right on the cusp of finishing the current block of story that we are on for Penacony. Like, the next couple of quests should do it, I think. So if we wanted to go get that done, I'm not sure if I have anything gated on finishing who done it, but I thought I heard that I did. That might actually be a good fit for tonight. All right, let's do it. Folks, if anybody has not been to Penacony yet and does not want spoilers, uh, this might be a good place to call it for the evening. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your time. If you want to join us on our journey, you are more than welcome to, but... If I love a game this hard, usually I don't want to get it spoiled for me by anybody else, so I completely understand and I will give you every opportunity to leave. We just faced a uh, hell of a uh, major plot event in Penacony the last time we played, so. I think I played the first chapter of the Hardest Base Station gets you. Fuck, there's more? Okay. Jesus. They really did go all out. But yeah, I got what I needed at least. That's the important part. Don't get me wrong, I do absolutely want to do these. Like, I'm not complaining because I don't want to do them. I'm just complaining because it takes a lot of time. I don't have to do everything on stream, too. I can do some of this on my own, but... Sometimes you never know what's going to be legendary until you do it. I'm deeply disappointed I did not manage to get the Sleepless Earl guy on stream because that whole quest chain was fucking epic. Cannot recommend enough. I don't remember what the quest is called, but... You end up taking quests from the storytelling guy at the Sleepless Earl, and it is absolutely knocking foots. Alright, I think this is enough of a warning. If you're still here, uh, I hope you're going to enjoy coming with us to Pentagoni. Yes, I know I've told you this a hundred times, but definitely go do that if you have time. There's a ton of parts to it, too, and it kind of uh, 
breaks in places, so you don't necessarily have to do it all in one sitting either. Which, frankly, I recommend just based on how dense and how silly it all is. You need breaks to breathe in between. Very much like Hildebrand and FF14 that way. And I might be weird that way, because personally, like, if humor is super zany like that, I can only take so much before I get exhausted. And I just, I need a bit to come down off the insanity. Yeah, me too. Okay, let me get the right thing tracked here. Did I pass it? 13 clocks is a side mission. There we go. Oh, they piped in the music for us. In my opinion, this version of the music is absolutely the best. There's a lot of people on the internet that definitely agree. If you happen to be looking for it, it's, uh... It's the name of the obvious song, plus, I think, variation or something like that. There's a lot of very angry people that we did not get this for the Express. Just the full song. Alright. I guess let's take a quick look around here because we didn't really get an opportunity to do much after um, the events of last time. I remember going over and getting the chest, but... Dance, the golden suitcase proposes, with us, with the pod of whales above. Even in our most painful moments, apparently we're going to hallucinate that uh, inanimate objects talk. Sofa is most appropriate for sleeping, especially when you can use these dream bubbles as pillows. A few dream bubbles occupy the space in front of the sofa. These seats are now prohibited from usage, but why not give it a whirl? This obedience now just feels tacky. Wait, did I just hear a bird? was that? I'm sure I heard one. There. There's some birds, at least. I can't do anything about those. Regular birds were half settled down. Yank. Chirp. 
Would you like to talk with me, dear guest? Shall we talk about Lady Vermilion? Professor Owl? Clocky? We can talk about anything, chirp. Hang on, look at the time. Gotta get back to the big tree, chirp. Please give me a phone call whenever you're free, chirp. You're a bird. And the bird gave me a whole clocky pizza. Okay. Is still locked. No. What's this? <sighs> okay, that's blocked. Okay. I'm satisfied. Bye, Firefly. enemies here. And there's a new Calyx here that I don't have yet. Okay, this is unexpected. Calyx of Harmony indeed. <laughs> What's going on? Why is it getting hot in the Memoria? You've noticed it too. Something is burning. Uh, I don't know what it is, but let's get rid of this. The times have changed beyond recognition. Time to say bye. Oh, everything's not sped up again. Hang on. Boom. I will protect all beauty in the universe. Take it off the next one. I thought I turned out a battle off, but apparently it didn't. Are mine to bear. What's going on? Why is it getting hot in the memoria? You've noticed it too. Like. <laughs> there. <sense> storm. <laughs> Break. Relax. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Time to say bye. Boom. Beauty is eternal. I will protect all beauty. Goodbye. <sighs> hey. This is our door. Is there anything else fun down here? Just a puzzle. These are all charred remains. Ugh, what the fuck? This is not something we normally find. I don't just walk in and find corpses anywhere, except, I mean, there were a few in the San Joe, but. They're effectively at war, that makes sense. What's going on here? They're still smoldering. The culprit can't have gotten far. I suppose we can slow down for now, then. Okay. Maybe 
investigate the charred remains. The remains of this creature bears narrow and deep incisions, with evident traces of charring inflicted by intense burning. A few sparks dance and flicker within, resembling shattered stars departing toward IX. Those that don't remember who IX is, as the text helpfully points out, that is the Eon of Nihility. Looks like this monster was slain by a thermic weapon. Okay. Who felt the need to burn it like that? Who's capable of burning it like that? Have we seen a thing single fire element person around here? They're all just burning remembrances. A stark contrast to this deep sea. Yeah. Let me get this first. A sticker obtained at Lost for Drawn. Careful. These traces are fresh. Our unsought guest isn't far away. The remains of this creature, pierced by an unknown weapon, reveal inner tissues that have been seemingly evaporated rapidly due to intense heat. You cannot approach any closer. The steam escaping from the shattered body would undoubtedly scorch you. Yikes. It looks like this monster died of a hyperthermic reaction. Okay. What is going on here? The surface of this creature's remains appears unremarkable. Yet as your hand grazes it, the searing heat transferred to your fingertips sends you jolting back, as if struck by an electric shock. Without a doubt, a fierce inferno rages within the remains, desperately longing to break free from its confines. For the sake of your safety, it is best to keep your distance. Something's off. These traces are fresh. Someone just left the scene. Would this person have anything to do with what's happened just now? Seems likely. I cannot reach a conclusion with so few clues. Just listen to your gut. You were the one who said that... the remembrance doesn't lie. They're all about preserving the truth, after all. Why would they? From the memories of these carcasses, that person was tall and much stronger than an adult male. The method was clean and crisp. All one-strike kills. Maybe a mercenary or an assassin. Eh? He entered through the door from the lobby and went farther into the hotel. If that's the case, he should have seen everything that happened here. Yeah, exactly. And she's doing a pretty good job of it. I take back what I said. We have to hurry to that memory zone where Miss Firefly's presence was imprinted. Considering what this person can do... Uh. If his goal is that place as well, there won't be anything left there. Oh boy. You two this way. I'll try to create a stable shortcut for you. Hey, okay. this way. Good boy. Another one of these hallways. This is fun. 
base anchor activated. Oh no. That's gonna open. Okay, what's this way then? Oh, wait, wait, wait. A scrawled note. That looks very hot. You're mesmerized by the wondrous sight before you. It robs you of your full attention. Heavy footsteps drag toward you up ahead, like moths to a flame. Souls urge you to unburden your woes and step through this formless door. Where you will shed your falsities and embrace the truth. Coexisting with the ancient dream. Alas, or rather, congratulations. You can't go through at all. <laughs> that may be the best you can't go through here message I have ever seen in my life. Fucking bravo, I got nothing else to say there. That was a pleasure to read. Look, upon leaving the lobby, the structure has become chaotic. Phase through that corridor and be careful. Do not alert the meme. <laughs> Do not alert the meme. And the most important of warnings. Interesting, so I should really avoid it then, is what you're saying? gonna kick my ass if I actually fight it. This is a sneaky mission, Don Hong. <laughs> There's a chest. Where is it? It's gotta be down. Okay. Um I saw it there for a second. Ow, what? He got yanked through to the other side? Shit. Oh, there's an enemy on the other side. Okay. A chest or something. Maybe that's what I'm hearing. Wait, is it seriously? The last time we had access to stuff like this, it was through that mini game. Do we have to come back in here? Here's this thing again. Ah, here. It's here. All right, as much as I would love to do these, I realize we're on short time tonight, so let's save that for another time. I just have to get out of here again. Of course it would be up there. Come on. This is truly a 
magnificent sight. It's this room, then. Whoa, what's with the Knights of the Round Table? Yes. More precisely, it's right below. He's just gonna face through walls now. I mean, we're gonna have to obviously walk on the walls, but... You two may not be able to phase through physical structures like memo keepers, but I've got a great idea that will help you safely reach the floor right below this room. Okay. It's really easy. See the chandelier? Next, we want to create some reasonably small movements. Small movements? Still remember what I taught you? Feel the flow of the memoria, walk up the wall, and then get close to it. Okay. I think I remember how to do this. Oops, pardon me a moment. There we go. Pardon me. Silencing an alert on my phone. Okay. <laughs> that looks like a good place to charge up. Thank you, I just finished my tea, so... Uh, I'm not here. You didn't see me. You saw nothing. Mind your own business. Pain bubble charge. Bubble charge limit has been increased. Interaction with unused bubble tower will increase the number of bubble charges. Our bubble charges can be carried at any time, cannot exceed five. Okay. Then do I just have one now? Okay. I'm gonna take this one first. This was the first one I came across. Chest. The hole, that's suspicious. I guess it probably used to be a window. Three now. No choice but to go back. Oh, I can try to. Damn it. Go away. Go that way too. What's this way? Oh. I don't know. 
Okay. Yeah, okay. Does that hurt? The time to <laughs> rise. Relax. Yeah, Relax. this should be spicy. I, will I figured a formidable beauty. foe this late in the game would be. Uh, we're doing okay. <sighs> Will forged in ice never falters. Stand still. As long as everything hits Japard, we're fine. Time to say bye. Boom. Um, two. <laughs> Oh right, I forgot. Time We're in Black Swan to help us right now. Boom. How does that work if Black Swan's in my party? Does she just go twice? Okay, that was actually quite simple. I like it. Blackest Swan, yes. No surprise there. Not to be confused with the biggest, blackest swan. Sorry, extremely juvenile Cards Against Humanity joke. What's this? Oh, I'm stupid. I want it this way. This way. Okay. Can I actually do this one or do I have to hunt down pieces? Nope, I can do this one. Okay. Here. Like it's all around here. Not there. No, I won't leave it there. Let's try some different ones first. There we go. Much better. Okay. Now I can see this room from a different vantage point. It's a chest over there. There's our chandelier. Alas. That would be the best way to do this. Good morning. The time to world cleansing dragon. <laughs> Wretched and fleeting. I will protect all beauty. <laughs> Stand still.
The human body is beautiful in its fragility. Cannot be opened in the current state. All right. Only works in Wyoming. We're a long way from Wyoming, Toto. Okay, I think I have to go back and do my wall climbing trick again. Not that way, this way. Okay. Where's Bob? There he is. Okay. This way? Hi. chest. Oh, I see. It's over there. I mean, up there. Okay, this way then. I could fight them, but they did say this was supposed to be a sneaking mission, so... Unless it's really obnoxious to do. I will try to behave. This is interesting. I don't have enough charges to take this. Can't replenish charges here. I guess we have to go back. I can't do this. Come on. three again. I just go get this. Okay, mine now. Birds? Appreciate my work too, Chirp. This is a statue modeled after me. A pity they forgot my lustrous hair when they sculpted it. That's the only blemish to this picture of perfect beauty, Chirp. Hm. You can admire my beautiful figure here while I make my way back to the tree, Chirp. I still feel like I must have caught all of those, and every time I keep finding more. Okay. 
Question, is there anything else over in this corner that I need? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, what's this way? Oh my! Yellow! I sense a storm. Time to say bye. Aha, uh -huh, the storm Boom. is Kafka. Rise! Stand still. Bullet storm Kafka. Wretched and fleeting. I will protect all beauty. Time to say bye. Boom. Relax. National sensation. I oh, wonder what I just did there. Ice. Never falters. A will forged in ice. Never falters. Will forged in I mean, ice. You're just gonna sit there and give Never me energy. Falters. Stand still. Black Swan. Thank you. World cleansing dragon. It'll heal. Relax. And these guys are beefy. Break. We're not taking any damage, so it's fine, but. Thank you. Eh, yeah, what's this? Food preparation station. Lost two, finally. Also, I hear that. The moment you get near the pots and pans on the counter move about restlessly. Suddenly you seem to hear a muffled human voice. Ooh, I'll have a drink. So glad. It's really tasty. Now, you must be kidding me, right? Hold on, I remember you. The surrounding convicts were cheering you on at the lobby. Could you be their leader? Today is a joyous day. Let me first raise my glass to you all. To health, my friends. I have no idea what to give this a voice to give this person. A joyous day. <laughs> Might be to you, but. Gunshot rings out, followed by a heavy thud. Probably afraid that the prisoner is still breathing, the warden adds a few more shots to finish the job. What's that sweet soda these convicts are drinking all day? It's rotting their brains. Hey, you lot, clean up this floor! When you come to your senses, you feel like rage is exploding from your chest. Angry? What the fuck? Okay, that was clearly a flashback to Pentacone's previous uh, prison life, but... Angry gear... Yeah... It said that when the hotel in the dreamscape was running, this room had no need for attendance. Food would serve themselves on guests' tables. Whoa. Rather than salt and pepper, love is the key ingredient in a dream. Now that's fortune cookie status. Alright, burb. Uh, yank hard. 
<laughs> Term, I almost suffocated. Thank you, dear customer. Term. It's a pity we can't eat unrefined trim bubbles. I'm going to fly around and digest some of this food before heading back to the tree. Dream birds have to watch their weight too, you know. Chirp. Do they? Interesting set of red and blue chairs here. going that way. Interesting. So all this wasn't actually what we needed then? Okay, so there is something in here we're supposed to be doing. get at the center door. There's really only the one fountain. Wait, why do I only have one again? I thought it was giving me three before. Not here. Oh, maybe. I figured it was that this one or the other one. Okay, here we go. It's this one. got three now. I have to spend one to get out. Unless there's some way of jumping through these, which I do not see yet. Huh? Okay. I thought maybe it was going to make me use these open doors to pull some kind of shit, but... I can't get back out of here any other way but by expending one, as far as I know. Wait. No, okay. I forgot. It was clear last time about how if I use one and then go back and refill, it'll remove all the ones I already spent. So we can't go back there. Can I hit this fountain now? Yeah, I have three now.
I knew I'd shoot down the chandelier to clear a path. Black Spawn was saying something about making little uh, sounds. Can't just like rattle the dishes or anything. It's starting to fight over here, but. Can't go through a door. I feel like that way is the only way I have. Nice, okay. Great. Just on the same page. Once this guy turns around, I'm gonna go up the wall. Okay. Yeah, now I should have enough to go do this. Ugh. here but us wall climbers. Bye. Alright, I gotta look in the other areas first before we go do the obvious thing. Yep, glad I did. Okay. That was fun. Tricky, but fun. Alright, what's our reward? <sighs> Look, a solitary chain. Go say hello to it. Hello. Look, it's common sense and easy, right? Is it, though? Are we jumping down from here? Don't worry. I'll do something about it. Let me stack the dream bubbles to give everyone a nice, soft landing. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Wait, I thought I just heard a bird. Oh well. We landed safely. This is... amazing. What the hell? Okay, this is not good. Nothing with this amount of TVs is ever good. Okay, this is, this is fine. Don't imitate the memo keeper without the accompaniment of one. Well. AKA don't do this at home. Wouldn't it be lovely if these nosy newcomers found their way back home? They would. Depart if you'd be so kind as to shield us. Relax. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> And fleeting. Stand still. Music is still fantastic. <laughs> Ouch. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Beauty is eternal. <laughs> Relax. A will forged in ice never falters. I mean, honestly, now is a little late for that, but... Boom. Porch, porch. He's so slow sometimes. No one will disturb us now. Here, 
How about I show you a little magic trick? Uh, first I gotta heal Don Hong, then I gotta look around this room. Oh, and we have an achievement. National Sensation. Switch three Dream Jolt Chips as Mr. Dome Screen to the Surprise Channel consecutively in a single battle. Geared. I know I keep these foods around for a reason. I just almost never need to use them. Oh, did I heal? Huh, okay. I guess I don't need to after all. No speaking with Black Swan yet, we gotta look around. The monitoring room. I guess we'll find out what we're monitoring in a minute. Not there. Come back. <clears throat> okay, so Black Swan's not gonna let us wander too far. I don't think that chair is supposed to be like that. Okay. Nothing here but a really cool room. Uh, wait, never mind. Chirp, what are you doing, Chirp? I'm supervising everyone's work, Chirp. So annoying. Everyone's always slacking off, Chirp. How can they be good dream birds with that kind of attitude? I'm livid, Chirp. Please, can you help me warn them, dear guest? I'm going to file a complaint with Lady Vermilion, Chirp. Oh, yeah. get right on that. Also, how are you carrying an entire potato fry sundae? You're a paper bird. Okay, let's do this. I don't know what we're about to see, but it's probably going to be epic. Are you ready? <laughs> don't be too surprised. I don't think I'm going to be ready at all, but let's go. Is that... Firefly? Hell. She was down here. So she knew about this place. Or at least she got down here first. Yes, it's what this room left behind. The memories of her. The slight trembling of the ground. The fleeting reflections on the screen. The flow of memoria. I gathered and reproduced them in fragments. Damn. I mean, hell, it's all we have left of her now. Other than that photo she took. As for the context, we'll need to sort that out a bit. Hurry along now. Recreating memories on this scale takes quite a toll on me. Even you forget my name. It's tragic, really. If I'm not wrong, it has to do with the Watchmaker. She mentioned your name. No, she didn't. She just said Trailblazer. Thinking of you even in your absence. Seems like you two were pretty close. Hey, too soon, all right? 
She seems to be sharing her discovery with someone. And it's related to the watchmaker. She has no idea that she'll become a victim. Who is she sharing it with is the question. Hello, the firefly and the memory. Oh, wow. Uh, this is cool. Someone's been watching I the Somnium Files. Hmm. I absolutely approve. Thing I encountered with my trailblazer friend back then. If I'm not wrong, she mentioned thinking of you, yeah, Rita. Yeah, she yeah. seems to be sharing. She has no idea. more people want to use ideas from that game, I am 500% here for it. If I could try again... She stares at the screens. Is she... looking at herself in the mirror? What does she mean by try again? Oh no. What does she mean by try again? Try what again? There's nothing over here, so I assume this must be the next one. Let's get going. Let's? Is there someone else? Uh. Hmm? Oh. Well, what about this one? She seems very nervous. Yes. What is making her so nervous? Uh. With all this in mind, Firefly and her companion, there should only be one, have entered this corridor together. Oh, okay. I guess I was supposed to do it in that order. I really thought I was going the wrong way. you get betrayed by the situation has changed and it seems that companion has deviated from the original plan perhaps judging from the outcome this is that person's true intention Firefly thought she figured something out and then got betrayed at the last second. So that was an intentional death then? And someone sent that thing after specific targets? Okay. I can see I'm clearly supposed to go the other way, but fuck that. Ah, uh, okay. I have to. I can't actually go that way. It's not yet. Mecca. Why? Mecca? Who forced her to go that way? And... Mecca? What an intriguing statement. I recall the Bloodhound family is pursuing a criminal. A tall male in silver armor. Oh, Sam. Okay.
There's giving me an awful lot of. Uh, Gave me a lot of like health replenishing things to break. Just saying. Based on these fragmented pieces of information, it seems Firefly's companion betrayed her halfway and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. But why? Yeah, what's the purpose? How did she get from there to where she died? She mentioned that this transaction involves the Watchmaker, and that often means stepping on many people's toes. They might have had their eyes on the legacy, or wanted to silence another who knew too much. Or there could be a deeper secret tucked away in this memory zone. And to hook that elusive prize, one needs the right bait. Let me guess, you're gonna teach me to fish? Do you mean... Firefly? This is just the worst case scenario. But think about it. If the mastermind behind all this is nearby, why would he let us look around freely? Unless... Oh. Unless someone else was doing the fishing instead. There's something else he cares more about and needs. Or should I say, is verifying. Mm-hmm. We are the fish. We're underwater, right? Really should have seen it coming. She had no other way to leave but from the side corridor. Okay. The plot thickens. At some point, I'm gonna have to stop, but I was hoping to get through who done it before I stopped for the night. Here, bird. There it is. Um. Yeah, wow. Fuck. Now, where did you go? There you are. Just one quest left. Only the longest. Uh-huh. Sure seems like it. And I guess FF14 is the same way, so we should be used to it by now, but... There, there was also a little girl who ran by past here hurriedly earlier, Chirp. I finally found a place suitable to do some thinking, but people keep coming here to disturb me. I have to look for another quieter place, Chirp. Okay. Be an eye out for readables. Don't see anything. Wait, it's chest. Based on these fragments, she mentioned that this they might have had. Do you mean there's something else he can this? Let's press on. There's actually a path here. Unpredictable pathways pointing toward a wandering meme. She was completely lost in the memory zone. Yeah, but it seems like someone's hurting her towards something. Similarly, hurting us towards something. There's really only one way to go. Kafka, now's not the time for canon D. Okay. One way. Firefly. What if I go this way first? Uh. <laughs> Cute. Okay, I guess I won't go that way then. Interesting. It's an exit. Following this path should lead me out of this place. 
Unfortunately, this path ultimately leads one to the layer of death. Right. I knew it was just down in this tunnel the whole time. Unfortunately, this path will... We have to fight this thing again. she had escaped but <sighs> she thought she had escaped <sighs> okay. this is fine. after that it's the end everyone over there. What the fuck is that? Okay. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? It seems like someone has been awaiting us. Ready to step into the spotlight now? Stellaron Hunter Sam. Oh shit. Are we finally meeting Sam? I'm not sure if he's friend or foe, but we're about to meet him. Fucking go. I fought him a few times and... Afraid. Okay. Flaming weapons. Sam, yes, of course. Okay, I was about to say I have fought him a few times in various uh, challenge modes in this game. So I kind of have a preview of how this fight's gonna work, but I have not had to deal with him mano a mano before, so this could get ugly. Conflict requires undivided focus. Not Hong, I love you, but shut up right now. I'm listening to this music. He has no weaknesses at the moment. So let's just hit him with what we got. Heaven search. I'm not looking ahead, so if we die, we die. <laughs> Celestial dragon. Break. Stand still. Oh uh, yeah, look May at that damage. Kill them all. This I reckon his shit. The knight's duty is my gut. Relax. You will know justice. I will set the seas ablaze. Consume skill points to attack Sam or inflict weakness break. Fuck. Uh, I did not see all that. I will protect all beauty in the universe. Step one, implementation. I'm sorry, you want me to uh, use skill points? Let me introduce you to my little friend. Heaven search. <laughs> Cloud bearing dragon. Right. Damn, no energy now reduced. Remember okay. it. 
Stand still. I re-advance. Uh, Once you're back in the real world, remember to tell everyone about the Stellaron Hunter who was behind your ultimate departure. Supernova, what? Underway! Not bad. I hope you're prepared. I hope you're prepared, Japard! We can't heal that! Okay. This is fine. Please give me the shield. Also, give me all of these. In the name of Landau. Years of cold hardens the will. We shall never fall! Awaken dormant scales. Delve hidden moon. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Good times. Now ah, we're doing some damage. Time to say bye. <laughs> Boom. Until I see that light once more. I will protect all beauty in the universe. <laughs> Sense of storm. Oh boy, I'm burning on top of everything else. Great. Heaven search. <laughs> Celestial dragon. Great. My skill points have been recovered. Nice. Okay. May as well yeah, they really went all out on him. Voice filter is pretty damn good, too. Relax. Save all those tasty uh, skill points for other people. The die is cast. Not, not if you would. I wish not to use the strength. Heaven's search. I know you don't want to use the strength, dragon. but uh, right. I need you to. Incinerate and detonate. One implementation is not all. Hey. Um. <laughs> now commencing. Oh. Scorched Earth operations. Ouch. Okay, I'm gonna throw a better shield in for that one. Stand still. Waiting for the double hit on our Genji. Heaven search. <laughs> Celestial dragon. Quick! Keep catching him at exactly the right moment. Scales. Delve hidden moon. I promise you it's not intentional, it's just nice. Dragon. Please shield me. In the name of Land. Last possible second. Years of cold. Pardons the will. Clearly. We shall never fall. Okay. Only fire. Okay. Gatka. Oops, wrong button. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Damn. Not quite enough. Alright, use what we have. Search. <laughs> Cloud bearing dragon. Rise. Vulnerability. Cut okay. in the net. <laughs> Come on, Argenti, I need you to get energy back. You will know justice. Shit. Okay. 
Implementation. <laughs> Please, not kill Von Hog. Heaven search. <laughs> Celestial dragon. Quick! That breathing sensation. Remember it. My oath is to a solitary rose. Uh, stand still. Light up the ignition. Time to clean up. Inevitable. Okay. Okay. The die is cast. Yes. In the name of Landau. Years of cold. Just barely the will. holding us together. We shall never fall. I sense a storm. Heaven search. <laughs> Cloud bearing dragon. Right. Shit, Sam. If that's the case. Stand stage to them, my dear. <laughs> what a show! Oh, God, it's you. Well, thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need a minute here. So, Acheron and Sam are currently, like, engaged in mortal combat. For reasons I do not fully understand, unless maybe Acheron thinks he's the killer of Firefly. And she knows who killed Firefly, so I don't know what her problem is with Sam. Meanwhile, Black Swan is just like, oh, well, we should just leave them by and teleports me out to see Aventurine, who is now acting like somehow she's in on his plan. What do you mean quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other? Which enemies are we even referring to right now? Yeah, some might be the one that led Firefly into the death memes trap. Yeah, this is very true. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to listen to this boy and see what exactly comes out of his mouth. When I first saw the ranger and the hunter together, my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between the two. You're way too in for this, buddy. As promised, I've delivered the child to you. Our transaction is complete. The child? You mean me or do you mean Firefly? Yeah, that would make sense, too. Unless, hey, wait a minute. What if Sparkle is one of these people? Because let's not forget, Sparkle could be anybody. The only person I'm not convinced Sparkle could literally be on this screen right now is me. Because I've been acting like myself. There's no reason to assume that I am not myself at this point. As a matter of fact, Black Swan has been getting a little bit snarkier as the evening has gone on, and I'm starting to wonder. She's always had a little bit of sass to her, but I guess we're just going to have to see. It's happening.
<laughs> Looks like our nameless friend over here is still confused. Let me explain. Do I have to? In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. From what? From that galaxy ranger. Quote, unquote. And there's no evidence she is, in fact, a galaxy ranger. That's just what she's been telling people. Right. <laughs> I do enjoy seeing that shocked expression of yours. Oh, keep it in your fucking pants. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron isn't as simple as you thought. Did she say she's a galaxy ranger? She's actually an emanator who brings death and finality. Excuse me? I mean, those attacks seem pretty dangerous. It's not unthinkable she is, but I mean, this is the first question that springs to mind. Like, who are you claiming she's an emanator of? I would guess nihility, but... Who's? Well, perhaps the hunt, or destruction, or even finality. It doesn't matter. These paths all point to the same outcome. Finality. They don't know much about the path of finality. Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know Duke Inferno? Fatora's Ifrit? Uh... <laughs> if I fought him before, I don't remember that name. Or is Ifrit? I'm just gonna say who because I do not remember. I hope I'm not offending whoever that is. Hmm, you don't seem to have heard of him before. He belongs to the Annihilation Gang, so I guess it's normal. And let me explain it to you. The Annihilation Gang? I wonder if it's content that we didn't do yet or something. This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. Oh no. Ron May! He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion and viewed Nanook as their savior. <laughs> In actuality, they were led by this duke to go around burning and looting, practicing the will of destruction. And even the other Annihilation gangs weren't spared. Hey. I'm not sure what the family was thinking. Or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. But 
Shockingly, these characters received an invitation. And why would the Everflame Mansion decline? <laughs> they harbor fierce intentions, swearing to turn the planet of festivities into a sea of blazing flames. Uh, that sounds bad. Perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes indeed. A character may not know that, but we know that. Oh, okay. Great. But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? I'm trying to get a bad feeling about why. Four interesting minions. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah. Rocking the whole, like, delightful children from down the lane vibe. How could I forget? Speaking of old throwback cartoons. Because Ifrit is dead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I kind of did expect that. I don't know what implications that has, but I kind of saw it coming. They were eliminated on their way. The assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. It would admittedly be the most shocking outcome here. I don't know how or what. Yeah, I can't explain it, but. Uh, either we're going to be bringing a lot of people back to life or I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. It's definitely fine. Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Panacone, checking into the hotel with only a music box. <laughs> Do you still need me to continue the story, my friend? Uh, that doesn't rule out anyone else. It's plausible, but that could still be anybody else. You have other evidence. The Galaxy Rangers come and go like shadows, and there's little communication between them. Her story is almost too perfect. If she remains silent, there's no concrete evidence against her. While the IPC can investigate, it'll take some time. This is the perfect scapegoat. Someone knows this. So, my friend, the choice is yours now. You can leave this place immediately, without looking back, and forever forsake the chance to get closer to the truth. Or I can punch you here and now. Or you can accept my invitation and learn a truth. A truth potent enough to upend everything in Panacone. Okay. I need your help, so I'll wait, but not for long. Once you are ready, follow me. You need my help? As for aligning with me, see the truth first, then decide. You'll still have time. 
Acheron is the emanator of a particular eon? Uh, can I really believe Aventurine? But he gave me a choice. Maybe I should talk to Black Swan again. Okay. Um. This is sure happening, isn't it? And on top of all that, there's a fucking bird somewhere. Really? You got stuck in another eyeball? Hmm. I feel like we could use a moment of levity after all that. Tea tasting bird. Hmm, guess of Dreamville. Fancy a sip of tea, chirp. The spring water from this teacup is sweet and delicious. It's as good as the soda from Soda Boy. What's Soda Boy? I'm bringing the tea for Lady Vermilion to try. Goodbye, chirp. Okay, it's gone now. Um, I mean, we've been in this room before. I don't see anything particularly <laughs> new, though there was that bird. Take a quick stroll around and see if we hear anything sus. The puzzle up here. Oh, never mind. That's the, uh, that's the clock puzzle. Nah. I don't see anything new here. Okay. Hi. Am I gonna regret putting you in my main party? My my. You look like a small injured animal. Are you still willing to talk to me? Of course, I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. Everyone around here needs a fucking psychotherapist. I'm not sure if anyone has fully betrayed me at this point. That's the scariest part here. It may have looked like that, but I can't trust or distrust everyone. Everyone is in the gray here. My take on this might surprise you. In my view, he's a trustworthy individual. Not for any other reason, but because he's an exceptional businessman. In this vast universe, no one values honesty and contracts more than a merchant. A valid point. He's been suspicious, but he hasn't been underhanded at any point. Yeah, exactly. Everyone seems to think they have our best interests at heart. <laughs> Sounds like the family, all right. But always be on guard, particularly when making agreements with him. Scrutinize the details. Beyond the confines of the contract, your rights are off his radar. He'll go to extreme lengths to ensure his advantage. Oh, goody. Okay. Charming. I don't think she betrayed me, but I'm going to ask it anyway, since she's uh, giving out information here. I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman to bring you before him. This is also a safe place. He needs you. It's essential if we want to reclaim Panacone, recognizing his immense potential and the invaluable memories he can help me gather. I opted to join forces with him. Fair. In Panacone, everyone may be lying. 
And yes, that includes me. I can't deny this, nor do I seek forgiveness. I mean, I think that's what I said when she first gave us that quote, is like, including you. And she's not denying it. But do you still remember? I said, I have faith in your potential. And that's not a lie. I have a potential bomb in my chest. How does that factor into all this? Has anyone entered the, uttered the phrase Stellaron anywhere? There might not even be a Stellaron on this planet. This might all just be like human creation. Uh, numbers can't lie, but I can. <laughs> I'm sorry. I assure you, it's not the game. Oh boy. Okay, just so we're all on the same page. It's not just gonna be a destruction or a stellar of the week, clearly. The Garden of Recollection wants to witness the future of the Astral Express trailblazing the cosmos. And as for these memories, I will treasure them. I do not have reasons to hurt any of you. Instead, I will continue to assist you. Provided you are willing to accept my assistance. I really need a wind character and you're really strong and you work really well with Kafka and... Oh. <clears throat> Fine, who do you think is the mastermind? I still believe that Miss Firefly's situation is deeply connected with the Stellaron Hunter, just as we speculated. But, as you've heard, Aventurine has his finger pointed at the Galaxy Ranger. Hmm. I can't fathom why he'd draw that conclusion, but given his access to the IPC's intelligence network, we should seriously consider his perspective. Moreover, I believe Miss Acheron is also hiding something. I mean, that's clear. That is not exactly a shock. No. In fact, I should say she's hiding everything from us. You seem to take Firefly's death exceptionally hard, too. Yep, not wrong. It was an unexpected finding from an earlier encounter. With regards to the Annihilation Gang, I can also prove that what Aventurine said was the truth. Okay. That's why, during this golden soiree, she is the dance's centerpiece. Eh. Okay. Well, I guess, are you willing to bring me out of here? Because otherwise I'm pretty much trapped as far as I'm aware. Why, of course. But now is not the time. I know you're confused and sad. Whoever that girl might have been, a living soul, a memory that was meant to last, she simply vanished. Like the dissolution of bubbles in water, disappearing in an instant. You can shut up anytime, you know. No matter what, I hope you can trust Aventurine, or rather, trust me and see the truth with your own eyes. This can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Benaconi. Hope the cost, whatever it is, is worth it. I will protect you, 
Once I gather more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companions. For the truth, and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices, it is the right choice. I feel like if anybody is trying to frame me here, it's not Black Swan. I don't feel like this is a reasonable assumption. She could be, but frankly, so could anybody. And I think it more likely that other people would be a more likely target. So, let's go. Later, I'll stay by your side as a mimetic entity, just in case. Time to set off. Okay. Find adventuring. Surely once I make this choice, it's gonna be the end of the chapter. I feel like it's gotta be. Go and meet a Venturine, or I could still choose not to help. An ultimate step of the chapter, okay. Oh my god, it's actually going to let me walk out if I want? I have no intention of actually refusing, because I feel like the only way to get to the bottom of any of this is to find out the truth, but... Hi. Uh, pretty much. I forgot how fucked up my door is currently. So, my place or yours? Excellent. I knew you would come. By the way, about that memo keeper... <sighs> Never mind. I won't press the issue further. I've said before you can liaise with your companions, or even twist the narrative against me. I'll wholeheartedly embrace it. It signifies your potential. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So, my friends, don't let me down. I will let you down after I punch you in the teeth. How about that? Please, this way, if you will. Fuck. Oh, right. I remember mentioning something after that. What was it again? <laughs> a familiar hallway, a familiar room. Do you remember? Last time we met was right here. I guess it's mine. You first. Uh, it's forced me to walk. I can no longer run. This is fine. Open door. This is it. Just beyond this door. Take a deep breath and get ready. <laughs> uh, I'm not old enough for this, I'm sorry. Okay. Wait, the truth is in my bedroom? There's a lot of truths that might be in my bedroom, but I didn't think the truth of Penicone was one of them. I remember. 
My friend. After that, we played an enjoyable game. What? Tell me, doesn't this feel eerily familiar? I remember everything now. This was what I told you at that time. Look, friend. The game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. <gasps> No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choices. What the fuck? Didn't I just get her today? Oh, boy. wait, 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 wait. We haven't seen Robin in a hot minute. And wasn't she behaving oddly the last few times we saw her? How much of what we saw was Sparkle? Is this body fresh or has this been here a long time? And how didn't we notice it until now? What, 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 what? That definitely the fuck was not there when we went into the dreamscape before. I broke an am I, am I okay now? Yeah, I'm okay. What? Also, what the hell does that even matter? Robin's a singer. She was supposed to, uh, she was supposed to be, isn't she a native? She's Sunday's sister, or so we thought we heard. She was supposed to be here for the festival. What does this accomplish? Like, killing her is going to be definitely a morale hit. But, so what? And maybe that's it. Maybe it has something to do with the politics, specifically. And also, I just figured out what Adventuring's game is, because right now, I was going to say, if Robin's corpse is in our bed, then all he has to do is call the authorities and we're fucked. But her body just evaporated like we saw fireflies evaporate. So there's really no evidence. Okay, let's just find out what Sunday is about to say here. I'm sure it's just going to add more questions. Brother, I'm back. Oh, fuck no. Now she's Sparkle? Was she real before and is just Sparkle now? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything. Welcome back. How is your preparation for the performance coming? It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine? 
<laughs> this is not good. You're the pride of the family. And don't let those unnecessary emotions affect your perfect pitch. I... no. Brother, you seem to be in low spirit. What's happened? Is it because of the watchmaker's guest list? Yes, I received the report that... Death had taken some of them. Perhaps someone was behind it. Okay, so you too seem to think that that thing can be, like, sicked on people. I'm sorry, I forgot you just came back. You probably wouldn't know about it. Somehow, a nightmare called death has descended upon Panacone, striking indiscriminately, bringing spiritual death to all equally. Extra horrifying, given that this is supposed to be a city of nothing but dreams and positivity. In the utopian dreamscape envisioned by the family, such sorrowful incidents shouldn't arise. It profoundly undermines the equilibrium and serenity of the dreamscape. How detestable. Uh. I can't believe this has happened. Was someone killed again? Again? Yes, there were two. One was a stowaway, uh, the other. Eh? Uh. Was you. Oh, he knows. That's enough, fool. Your deeds have saddened me. Oh. Okay, so Sunday's not having any of this shit. Pretty sharp, aren't you? Chicken wing boy. <laughs> Chicken wing boy. That's right, she did call him that before. The Odes of Harmony talks about honesty. The words of a fool begins with foolishness and end in treacherous arrogance. Please leave. Their dreamscape doesn't welcome you. Oh, come on, lighten up. Why so serious with all the quotations and references? Ahem. Why so serious with all the quotations and references, huh? <laughs> I think we all saw what you did there. I'm just curious. Now things have come to this. Is the family still unwilling to fight? I mean, your darling sister's already a goner, right? Still unwilling to fight? Fight what? Really? Don't tell me you're not craving a little vengeance.
question is, who killed Robin? I guess death again. But was she led to her death the same way Firefly was? It's not yet time. When the fated day arrives, I shall mete out justice with unyielding righteousness. Is he implying it's Sparkle herself? Wow, you can endure that much? <gasps> Truly a heart of ice you've got there. Hey, maybe we could actually get along. How about this? I'll stand in for your dear sister at events. <laughs> Surely you don't want the world to hear the Charmony Festival's been called off. Yikes. The family has a plan. And do not dishonor my dear sister with your deceitful tongue again, fool. All right, all right. Just putting it out there. If you're ever in a pinch, remember, I've got your back. I mean, who could resist a guy rocking spikes on his wings? <laughs> There's no need. The malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze and will soon fall by their own machinations. Okay. Yeah, I'll say. Malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze. So what, the Harmony and or the family thinks they know who's at fault here? That's kind of a surprise. Should the transgressor fail to turn away from this path, their sword will be honed, their bows strung, causing the malevolence the perpetrator spreads to befall them. Hey. Okay. And when that time comes, the heathen will realize they are but a mere mortal. Doomed to descend into the netherworld. Sunday, you're starting to scare me, man. And I. I will join their vanguard to announce this good news to you personally. Watchmaker. <laughs> good news, superscript funeral. Yup, yup, that's amazing. Okay, so Sunday's no longer uh, Mr. Squeaky Clean Sunday Boy anymore. Sorry, I did not realize my mouse was in the way, it's horrible. Who the fuck is calling me right now? Cat Among Pigeons, The Devil in Velvet, start. Oh, wow. The light cone. Destiny's Threads for Woven. Nevermore, a music track. What is this light cone? Preservation. Effect res, interesting.
Be interesting on the right person. Oh hmm. god. Dr. Edward <laughs> is texting me? New Dreamscape's Pass handbook pages have been unlocked because we haven't taken the time to actually use the ones we have. Oh god. Oh god. Panacone Luxury? What? Oh my god. My phone is blowing up right now. Okay. Let us look real quick at the messages we have, and after that, I'm gonna have to call it. It's very late. But this has been so good. I have literally no idea where any of this is going at this point, but I am 500% here for it. I did see that achievement, yeah. Old friends, new friends, embrace the warmth and the ocean of memories, fight Silhans, Hunter Sam. And if I can stop one heart from breaking, the entire Penacony will go mad. Witness the second murder. Wow. Seriously, I don't know what the hell they gave the writers for this section, but the entirety of Penacony has been insane. If they can keep up this kind of, uh, like, ability and talent and vibe, this game is going to go so many places. Alright, Tunnel. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get back to this at some point. I feel so bad. Obviously one of my favorite characters, and I have not even finished this story. I haven't finished Kafka's character story either. Okay, let's take this slow. Dr. Edward, what do you want? I'm just gonna need a dream bubble to our store. I think I can psychometric special analysis on us, but you'd be interested in the contents. Okay. Who donated it to you? Uh, uh oh. Okay. That sounds like it might be a character story for Black Swan. Ray Duet. I wonder if that explains. Uh, I kept getting a four star new light cone while I was busy trying to get Robin's light cone earlier. And all I'm saying is the uh, the four star light cone heavily suggests that uh, Acheron and Black Swan have some kind of history. I go show you, but I just realized that the uh, flavor text is kind of a small novella by itself and reading that will make sure that I do not quit until probably 2 a.m., which is not a good idea. So let's continue. Leslie Dean fans unite. Wait, no. No. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was remembering Leslie from um, the Herta Space Station and was about to lose my mind, but not related. Just the same name. Okay. What the fuck? Sparkle! And a kind of luxury goods. Um, that's a lot of alfalfa credits. Envision a rose forthcoming. Normally I blame that on Argenti, but... Well, these are just side missions. 
Thank you for snoozing that. Sweet dream times. Oh god, this is long. Okay. What else do you know about the reverie's indefinite closure? Oh great, it's a whistleblower trying to claim that they know the secret behind why the reverie has been closed so long. Oh, it's singular. Great. They seem fun. Slaughterhouse? No problems here. Run me. How are those two doing lately? Did they learn how to coexist? So you do care about them. <laughs> did we? Well, assume we did that in between uh, adventures. Would I forget you? That feels like a weird answer. I guess he's going to get both of them. Oh, right, I see. He's asking basically, like, she didn't say we would forget her eventually, but clearly we haven't already. Right, about the alabaster head. Friend of yours. <laughs> okay, even she doesn't know? That's bad. Last but not least, Asta wants something. I need your help with something. Context? Oh god. What? Uh, okay, why me? Not that I mind caring for pets or anything, but... Trailblazing makes you kind of an irresponsible pet owner. I'm sorry there, what?! I did not make life with this woman! No! I swear I didn't! Unless I just couldn't talk about it! Oh god. This is getting uncomfortable. I'm not cool with this. Let's move on. <clears throat> Great. Wonderful. I mean, honestly, our p raft probably was a long time ago and he just doesn't know because <clears throat> keepers aren't necessarily known for uh, being long-term dads. It's not really in their culture. Critter pick nurture. Okay. The helper robot will assist me the entire way. I feel better now? No, I don't. Oh my. What a thing to leave off on for tonight. Wow. And now we have so many freaking... Oh boy. This is fine. This is fine. Eh. Okay, folks. I do not dare push this any further. 
It is already 1.30 a.m. I'm supposed to be in bed in approximately half an hour or no later than, so... I think it is time to leave this for the night and switch to closing for a very, very short closing. Ah, oh, no regrets, but holy shit, my head is spinning too. I'm gonna need some time to come down off of this before I sleep, so we'll see what time I make it up in the morning. It's fine. Ah, there we go. Absolutely, this has been fantastic. I mean, obviously I love the hell out of this game, so I am absolutely here for all of it. I loved this game before, but ever since we hit Pentacone, my jaw is just absolutely on the floor. This is absolutely... There's no tier above S, so S tier content. I am desperate to see where all of this goes in the future. And hey, they just added a new patch worth of it, so I got a long way to go. Oh, thanks everyone for coming along on this ride, and I will definitely uh, be back with more of this at some point. Not likely tomorrow, I'll probably break things up a little bit, because I know not everyone's into this kind of um, story intensive session, but... Once in a while I just gotta do it. At the same time, I would love to also do some other stuff. Like, I know it sounded like there was some interest in content warnings, so... If people want to do multiplayer stuff tomorrow, we might do that. Otherwise, we'll just have to see what people are and are not interested in. For tonight, good night, good luck, and have fun. Take care, everybody. And definitely checks for corpses in your bed before you climb in. You never know where those things will turn up. Then some asshole blonde guy in a fancy suit will show up and make you a deal you can't refuse. And it's a huge thing.